God, did that smell good. Detective, there's it, no going, and you tell me do things. I done running. No TV. No TV. What now? Hello, I'm Pee Wee Herman. Talking Pee Wee is really cool, cool. He's naughty. I know you are, but what am I? Soon <laughs> you'll be that way too. <laughs> Whatever you may do, it's so much fun when he's with you. Banana sandwich. Arr! You'll go wacko. You'll go crazy with Talking <laughs> Pee Wee. From Matchbox for you and your kid, Cherry sold separately. What's that? Major Lock. Welcome to the Pee Wee Herman Miraculous Magic Show. Sorry, me, Pee Wee Herman. <laughs> this is my friend, Robbie the Rabbit. Say hello, Robbie. Hello. <laughs> now, I'm going to make Robbie disappear. I put him in the magic hat, say the magic words, abracadabra, presto changeo, and look, he's gone. Ooh. Pretty good trick, huh? <laughs> but you know, Making animals disappear isn't always such a cool idea. In fact, many animals are in danger of disappearing forever. Like whales, elephants, kangaroos, and sea turtles. Scientists say over a hundred different species of animals are disappearing each day. We have to do something to save our endangered animals. Because magic's just magic. But extinction's forever. Bye. 
for you. Oh. <laughs> wow! Big piece of foil! Thanks! It was wrapped around the baked potato. Where'd you get the baked potato? At the restaurant, of course. <laughs> hey, boys and girls, let's see how big my foil ball is today. <laughs> Keep him busy for a while. Yeah. Hey, Pee Wee, what's today's secret word? Mm, I don't know. Let's ask Conky. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ready to assist you, Pee, -pee Wee. Morning, Conky. What's today's secret word? That's a secret word, right? Scream! Scream! Right! For the rest of the day, anybody says a secret word, scream real loud! Ready? Let's try it! Hey, Mr. Window, what's the opposite of big? Small? No. Uh, tiny? No. Uh, teeny? No. Itty bitty? No. Petite? No. Minuscule? No. Dinky? No. Then what is it, Pee Wee? Little! <laughs> hey, it's slap time! <laughs> Today, we're gonna do something that you can do at home. <laughs> First, stroll over to your salad bar. <laughs> <laughs> in the refrigerator to keep them cold. <laughs> if you don't have a salad bar at home, just ask a grown-up to cut up some salad chunks like I did. <laughs> First stop, the leafy stuff, lettuce. It's important that everything from the garden be washed well. <laughs> Next, over to the carrots. I'm a bunny! <laughs> Next, zucchini, celery, broccoli, e -e 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 -e. <laughs> Ah! What's this? <laughs> Looks like a brain! <laughs> Cauliflower! <laughs> Hello? 
onions. <laughs> Sweet peppers. Radishes. Now, the beans. <laughs> Green beans. Mmm. Garbanzo beans. And pinto beans. <laughs> These aren't the poison kind. Ah! 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 Just kidding. Mm. Is three enough? Is six too many? Mm. Uh oh. Looks like hair. Smells like hair. It is hair! Just kidding. And sprout. <laughs> mm. Now, just garnish with a few tomatoes. <laughs> Voila! A garden salad. Fun to make and fun to eat. Tastes a little dry. <laughs> you forgot the salad dressing, Pee Wee. You're right, Jerry. You could use a little. <laughs> Thanks, Conky. You know, magic takes a lot of practice. Oh, I mean, just like playing the trumpet. Oh, speaking of which. Announcing the king of cartoons. Uh, that's, that's, 
Let the cartoon begin. <laughs> Magic show today starring the amazing Pee Wee Herman. Whew. Right this way. Thank you, Conky. Howdy, everybody. Yeah. Howdy, everybody. Nice. Wow. Yeah. Good to see you. Oh, isn't this exciting? I had my hair done special for the show. Mm. <laughs> this magic show's a great sensation. I dig that Preston digitation. <laughs> like, uh, what does that mean? Magic, Chicky baby, yeah, magic. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Johnny, can you see all right? Sure, I've got a box seat. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, puppets, machines, and, um, well, everyone else, big and little. <laughs> Prepare to be stupid. Stupefied. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Prepare to be stupefied. For the first time anywhere, presenting the amazing Pee Wee. Yay! I love levitating. <laughs> <laughs> For my next trick. Amazing! <laughs> and now, for my next trick. Nothing up here, nothing up here, and nothing up here. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Pesto! my grand finale, I will make myself disappear. Uh, <laughs> Alakazam! Alakazoo! Alaka hocus pocus! Ah! What did he do? Wow, well, like Gonsville, yeah! Ooh, the cat split, man. La la la, I'm invisible, la 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 la. Hey kids, being invisible sure is fun. Watch this. Hey Pee Wee, you're spinning me too fast. <laughs> <laughs> oh Pee Wee, here comes Mrs. Steve. Let's pretend I'm not here. <laughs> Pee-wee, Pee-wee, are you here? Are you here? Oh, 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 what a perfect opportunity to snoop around. <laughs> oh, chocolate cake. Oh, don't mind if I do. Oh, oh, 
Chocolate cake. Chocolate cake. Come back. Chocolate cake. Where is it now? Oh, I I guess she got her cake in the end, huh? Mmm, chocolatey. Knock, knock. Knucklehead. Knock, knock. Who's there? Who's there? Pee wee. Pee wee who? Pee wee Herman, the invisible man. Boo! Ah! <laughs> Golly, Pee wee. Even though you're invisible, you still weigh the same. <laughs> Pee wee. Pee wee. Pee-wee is certainly having fun being invisible, huh, Randy? Yeah, but I kind of feel sorry for the guy. What do you mean? It's awfully hard to get noticed when you're invisible. Think about this. He can't have his picture taken. He can't even answer the picture phone. Hmm. And what if he can't come back? What do you mean? What if he stays invisible forever? I heard that, Randy, and I'm not going to be invisible forever. I can make myself visible whenever I want to. Oh, yeah? Prove it. Here it is. To become visible again, just send $9.95 to the Magic Company. Allow six to eight weeks for delivery. Oh, no! Hello, my name is Penny. Well, my favorite meal was on my birthday, and I had a gigantic lobster. I just um, dip, d dug right into it and ate and ate and ate. My friend Anik, she said that she had nine cockatoos, three blue jays, and two guinea pigs, three three gerbils, and um, a, a pig and a horse and um, something else, but I forget. I thought that she was a big, fat, total liar. According to my calculations, p p pee wee you you're gonna be invisible forever, forever. No, no, no! <laughs> Who's that crying outside my box? It's me. Oh, the amazing Pee Wee. Are you still invisible? How'd you guess? And I suppose you want me to make you visible again. Yes, please. I don't know if I can. But you're Johnny. It's not a good idea to mix magics, Pee Wee. It could be dangerous. I'm willing to take the risk. All right. Spirits of magic, lend me your ear. We want to see Pee-wee reappear. Okay, this is going to be difficult. I'm gonna need all the boys and girls at home to help. Now repeat after me, as loud as you can. Mecca lecca hi, mecca hiney ho. Mecca lecca hi, mecca hiney ho. Mecca lecca hi, mecca chani ho. Mecca lecca hi, mecca hiney ho. Stand up! Mecca lecca hi, mecca hiney ho. Make a look a ho, make a honey ho. It's working. What about my head? I'm sorry, Pee Wee. I said it would be dangerous. 
Someone's at the door! Maybe they can help. I'm ah. going door to door to... Ah! Jumbie, you've got to do something about my head! One head coming up. addictive kind of cocaine and it can kill you what's really bad is nobody knows how much it takes so every time you use it you risk dying it isn't worth it look everybody wants to be cool but doing it with crack isn't just wrong it could be dead wrong Commercial, I have new alphabets. It smells and tastes delicious. And new post alphabet cereal's part of a balanced breakfast. I'm gonna take new delicious smelling alphabets and eat that monster. <laughs> oh no, there's a lock on my toy box. If you spell the right word, you can open it. You put it together. Four different colored combination locks, one in each specially marked box of new alphabets. Good thing you knew the right word. Good thing I had my alphabets. <laughs> Each word you gotta know Won't you with me everywhere I go Inchworm, inchworm, I'm telling you true Inchworm, I love you Inchworm, I love you Ride up and down and up and down On the Inchworm from Romper Room Cosby coming at you with music and fun, and if you're not careful, you may learn something before it's done. So let's get ready, okay? Hey, hey, hey! Today we're going to learn about international signs. Once you're familiar with these, you'll be able to get around fairly easily in any country. What are we learning this stuff for? We never even go out of town. The main reason I'm showing you these signs is because they're already replacing many of our own. Now who can tell me what this is? I know what it is. All right, Donald, what is it? That's a diaper. My baby sister wears one. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, Donald. This is a triangle. Any time you see it, it means danger. <laughs> Now, like Miss Bryfogle says, this triangle means danger. Danger. Zut. Zut. Dangerous road intersection. Dangerous curve. Zip, 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 zip. Burp, burp. Dangerous railroad crossing with gates. Now, there's a good reason for going to these signs. You don't even have to be able to read to know what to look out for. Fat Albert and the gang don't think this is too important right now, but they're going to have to open their eyes very soon. I saw it. Hey, 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 Rudy. You almost got it that time. That'd be the only thing he ever got. Shut up, Root Beer. <laughs> Why you call me Root Beer? Because you got foam for a head. <laughs> Rudy, why don't you pick on someone your own size? Ha-ha. <laughs> Looks like someone's been picking on you, Fat Albert. Huh? <laughs> 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 hey, hey. You shouldn't draw pictures of dudes on the walls. I didn't do it. He's right, Fat Albert. Rudy has trouble writing his own name. As a bona fide art expert, I perceive another masterpiece by none other than Cool Roy. Cool Roy? Who's that? Nobody knows, but he's been messing up the walls all over town. <laughs> What's the matter, Albert? Can't take a joke, huh? <laughs> I thought you fat dudes were supposed to laugh all the time. <laughs> Goody is a fat That dumb cool Roy better watch it. If I catch that cat, I'll knock him into the middle of next week. I'll fix that cool Roy. I'll write my name across his lip with my fist. Hi, gang. Hey, 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 people. Can't stop to talk now. Gotta take my daddy's hot lunch. Whoever's been to these signs is asking for trouble. Hi, Dad. Got your lunch. Just a minute, Pee Wee. I'll be right down. Mmm, boy, Mom fixed your favorite lunch. Short ribs, short bread, and short cake. <laughs> what you working on today, Dad? Same thing I've been working on all week. Somebody who thinks he's very funny has been twisting the street signs around. You know what I'm doing? I'm giving Fat Albert and the gang the high sign. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'll admit it wasn't a very funny joke. But this joker who's been turning the signs around, he isn't very funny either. And neither is the dude who's been drawing those pictures on the wall. And you know what? I bet you it's the same guy. This is the baddest. Hey, Rudy, another one of your pal masterpieces? Cool Roy was here. Man, if I lay my hands on that Roy, I'll cool him. Hey, 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 where are we going? 
to play? I don't know, man. We sure can't play in the junkyard. How come? The rain last night floated our goalposts away. Hey, Benup. Hey, that means there won't be any traffic. Yeah, let's go. We'll race you to the manhole cover. Hey, I'm kicking off. Hey, man, I'm receiving. I'm quarterback, yeah, man. man. With the hey, ball. Ball. hey. Now, who moved these horses? Lucky we spotted this. We'd never hear the end of it if we tore up the wrong street again. Hey, 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 it's time to play. And I'm the kicker. And I'm the kicky. <laughs> from them. in the hospital. But they got more troubles ahead yet, thanks to you-know-who. I wonder who the dude was who blocked off the street. Yeah, that street repairman would like to know that, too. Man, ain't no place in this whole city where a kid can play football. Hey, let's play there. Man, the school line? We can't play on no school line. It's for, like, keep off the grass signs. Oh, yeah? You've been out in the sun too long, kid. What are you talking about? You're seeing mirages. There are no keep off the grass signs on that lawn. Yeah? What are we waiting for? Let's go. Yeah! yeah. Let's go! All right! Yeah, yeah. light love. Hey, hey, hey. Let's practice the play. Hey, I got a great new play. I saw Joe Namath use it against the Chicago Cowboys. Chicago <laughs> Cowboys? <laughs> well, one of those teams. It might have been the Denver 49ers. Yeah, let's see. Double reverse shift, option right, reverse flanker left, quarterback keeper with fake tackle eligible. Signals, 3, 47, 2, 89, 3, 21, 4, 61, 9, on 4, 3, uh, 3. Will you come on? Come on. Okay, team, enough of this stalling. Let's get the show on the road. Center the ball. <clears throat> Is that close enough to the center? You're more fun than a chap lip. Everybody go out for a pass. I got it. It's mine. Let go. Are you really going to get it, man? Hey, I got it. Hey, let go, man. Yeah, man, that's it. Yeah, 100 yard penalty, man. Fumble. Yeah, man. Get Look at yeah. <laughs> Mine. I got it. Hey, that's mine, man. Hey, man, let's go, man. Move. Oh, man. Mine, man. Okay? Of course I'm okay. Get me out of here. Hey, let me help you. Hey, you kids. What you kids doing in this lawn? Can't you read the signs? What sign? They're all over here. Open your eyes. Keep off the grass. Huh? What? what? Where did they come from? Yeah, I didn't see that, man. Hey, man, we overlooked that. You've just about wrecked my new lawn. Now beat it. Where those signs come from? Hey, man, I can't that's figure it. Seems like that was magic, Spooky, man. man. I mean, that's weird. Yeah, yeah way out. <laughs> hey, Dad, time to quit. Man, what a day. Bent signs all over the place. Arrows twisted the wrong way. Ugh. Oh, gee, Dad, look. Cool Roy was here. Oh, no. I'll bet he's the dude who's been bending all your signs. Hmm, wonder what that says. Can you read it? Yeah. It says, wet paint. Oh, no. <laughs> hey, 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 this time I'm the quarterback. Oh, yeah? Why should you be quarterback? Give us one good reason. Because this is my home field. 
some home field. Be kicked out of every other place. If you got a better roof, Rudy, let's go over to your house. We can't play on my roof. The tar ain't dry yet. Oh, yeah? When did they retire? Twelve years ago. Come on, let's play. Okay. Hello. <clears throat> now, listen close, dudes. This is, this is a secret play. Secret from who? We all in the huddle. Shut up. Okay. Now, guys, you take three steps toward the TV antenna, cut by the skylight, and hook around the chimney. Check. Hey, wait, 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 wait. You fan out by the fire escape, and you head straight up toward the air vent. Now, Bucky, you fake round the long underwear to the blue shirt with the patch on it and head straight downfield. Check. Come on, come on. What do I do? You get lost. Okay, everybody. Break. Hike. Oh, oh, earthquake. No, uh, it's a roofquake. <laughs> hey, man, I'm open. Throw it. Hey, man, quick. Here I am, man. Throw it. Make a tag. Hey, man, right down here. Let's go. That's all for today. And after you finish taking out the trash, you clean up your room, and after that, I'll find something else for you to do, Mr. Rooftop All American. <laughs> <laughs> explaining to do. I was just funning. I didn't mean no harm in moving those signs. You? Moving signs? Oh. You gotta believe me. It was all a joke. Yeah, that's it. A, a joke. <laughs> oh, that's the trouble with the world. Nobody laughs anymore. And nobody's ever gonna laugh at the kind of stunts you've been pulling. You got an idea of the trouble you caused? Oh, the shame of it all. <laughs> all I ever wanted to do was to bring a little sunshine into other people's drab lives. <laughs> and what happens? <laughs> well, Roy, you might have been trying to do good, but you sure was messing up. I knew that now. I know it. Oh, well, thank you, Fat Albert, for showing me the light. Well, uh... You're not going to turn me in, are you? But I'm a changed cat. I tell you, changed. I, I promise. I'll never touch another sign as long as I live. Well... And I promise to throw away all my spray cans. And you promise to clean up all the messes you made? Yeah! 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 Well... Word of honor. Okay. Oh, bless you, Fat Albert. You never regret this. <laughs> You can count on me, Fat Albert. I'm a new man. Hey, hey, hey. What you so uptight about, Fat Albert? Look at these messy walls, man. Uh, never mind the walls. Let's start the game. Hi, guys. Can I play? Sure. We can use you as a kicking tee. Ha, 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 ha. Well, he can always hold the ball. Hey, hey, hey. That's a good idea. Our kicking game needs a little polish. Well, we need some goalposts. What can we use? What we always use. We in Harold. Oh, no. I got to be a crossbar again? Quit griping. We're the one that got to carry the load. No. A little to the right. Oh, too much. A little to the left. More. A little more. Will you come on? <laughs> Goes the ball. Don't worry, Fat Albert. I'll get it. I see the ball, but it's way over by the building. I'll get it. I'll get it. Man, that Pee Wee's got to be the best ball getter backer in the business. Hey, you kids, get back away from that fence. What for? Hey, what happened to those danger signs I had all over the place? Keep away from here. We're blasting that building any second. Blasting? Pee Wee. Pee -wee. Pee -wee. Get Pee Wee out of there. Phew. 
Wow, that was close. <laughs> Look on me. I, I didn't do nothing. I didn't take your old signs. Ask those cats. They'll tell you. I caught this dude prowling around our supply shack. He one of your bunch? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. man, that's he's Roy okay. Breacher. Yeah, man, he's, he's cool. cool. Well, he's okay, yeah. man. He's with us, you know. No, he's not. Huh? huh? What, what you talking what? about? Fat Albert. T tell him. Uh, I'm the most honest dude there is. Uh, they got nothing on me. <laughs> Yo, it's all off of you. Come on, kid. Let's go. Now, here's a sign that really fits old Cool Roy. End of the road. Things are too hot for Cool Roy right now. And for one thing, he's busy cleaning up the mess he made. <laughs> And for another thing, I don't think he's going to be fooling around with any more signs, because the first time another sign gets out of kilter, guess who they're going to blame? And that incident with Pee Wee taught the gang something about the importance of signs, too. So much so that they made up a song about them. Fellas, hit it. For your safety They tell you what's going on And if you pay attention to them You know you'll never do wrong When you see a danger sign You'd better not remain And when you come to a railroad sign Stop, look and listen for the train Try to crawl. And when the sign says slow, that's what you got to do. It's there for a reason, and it's meant to help you. to go where you want, do what you want. Yours is going under the table. It's programmed to come out again. Amazematics, Chevrolet Astrovet, Buick Century Cruiser, Chrysler Charger, and Ford Mark IV. Amazematics from Hasbro. Your kids are growing. These are the robber room years. Thank you. 
Kelly, I'm so broke my pockets have cobwebs. Forget it, Benji. Just enjoy the carnival. Hey, maybe the carnival will hire me to do odd jobs. Then I can buy your dad a birthday present. Come on. Attention! This is the one and only world-famous P.T. Bombas speaking. Uh, have no fear, good friends. It's merely a minor malfunction. Uh, so, of course, no money will be refunded. Was coming. Quiet, Percy. Uh, now, as I was saying, Great Capri, it's broken loose. I told you to fix that wheel, but you were too cheap. Cheap, cheap. Stop cheaping. You sound like a canary. Benji, look. That Ferris wheel's doing wheelies. Looks like it's time for the thing. Give you a lift. By uh, undying gratitude, my good man, or whatever you are. Likewise. Up, said Daisy. Don't panic, folks. We're gonna take a little walk. Why, he's amazing! What a performance! With my showbiz know-how, I could make that fellow famous! And B.T. Bombast, rich! There you go, ready to let the good times roll! Good patrons, you have been privileged to experience P.T. Bombast's newest thrill ride. Oh, brother. Of course, there will be a slight extra charge for this privilege. Oh, brother is right. And now, sir, if you'll just sign at the bottom of the page. What's this? A contract to appear with the P.T. Bombast Carnival, sir. No, thanks. I ain't no sideshow freako, you know. But, but this contract is as good as gold. And guess who gets the gold? Sheesh. This guy's got more rocks in his head than I do. I'm getting out of here. I'll meet you later. Come back. I'm ready to discuss more generous terms. I'll lose that joker by changing to Benji, and... Ah, there you are! Sign here, and I'll make you famous! How do you like that? I'm a living legend, and he's gonna make me famous! Rabbit, where did he go? On a cruise to Alaska! If he's smart, ah! Enough of your bird brain blather! You go that way, I'll go this way! In here, quick! Well, I'll be! That guy sure lost a lot of weight in a hurry. He changed into a teenage kid. 
Grat and Double Drat, the greatest attraction in a century, and he got away. P.T. Bombas, secretary speaking. I'll see if he can be disturbed. P.T. Bombas here. Oh, the sheriff. Uh, you're coming to close my carnival? Back debts, you say? Uh, a mere oversight, sir. I'll... Hello? Hello? You freaked out feather duster. I'm concocting a plan to snag the thing and collect some cash. I know something you don't know. I know something you don't know. Save it, feather brain. We have visitors. Enter. Oh, you're mighty young to be a sheriff. Sheriff? I'm just looking for a job. <laughs> Silence, you babble beak. This lad and I are talking business. Babble beak? Okay, P.T. Blowhard, my beak is sealed. You are most fortunate, my son. I believe we do have a few openings. A few? <laughs> That's great, Benji. Yeah, now we can earn some money for your dad's present. Uh, we shall discuss monetary matters at a later date. Later. Step right up, ladies and gents. Get your tickets now. Only 25 cents. The fourth part of a dollar. The show is about to begin. something, Kelly? What's that, Benji? I don't think I was cut out for show business. Help! Somebody get the thing! Quick! It's Mr. Bombast. Now what? <laughs> don't worry, Mr. Bombast. We'll call the fire department. No, no, no! Get the thing! It looks like a command performance for you-know-who. Right. Ring, ring, do your thing. As the old saying goes, what goes up gotta come down. <laughs> oh, I most you happened by, my orange and rocky friend. Our flagpole sitter quit. He wanted to be paid. And I was forced to attempt the feat myself. The show must go on, you know. And I gotta go on, too. Bye. Wait! I have a brand new proposition that you can't refuse. Let's talk it over. You mean if I appear at the carnival today, You'll give half the money you make to charity? On my word of honor. Word of honor? <laughs> You've got a deal. One dollar is all it takes, my friends, to watch as the world-famous <laughs> Ring demonstrates his incredible strength. <laughs> oh, it's heartening to see such response. <laughs> Here goes nothing. Now, if you will all be so kind as to step this way, folks. Now what is he up to? No good, I'll bet. That guy could sell jogging shoes to a snake. 
thing. Look at that! Here you are, folks. The chance of a lifetime to get your genuine thing souvenirs. One thin quarter for a chip off the old block. Okay, that does it. I quit. You were sensational, Thing. Uh, I mean, Benji. And Centerville will be glad to get half that money. If it ever gets it, look. You don't think? I sure do. <laughs> As I always say, there's a sucker born every... Oh? Going somewhere, P.T.? Uh -oh. oh, uh, no. <laughs> I was just uh, going uh, to get a haircut. <laughs> That's a lot of loot for a haircut, bub. I'll just take this cash and... Hold it! I'll take that money. Ah, you're just in time, Sheriff. This sneaky stack of bricks was trying to... Don't try to flim-flam me, Bombas. Why, Sheriff? Just come back to my office and we'll settle everything. You know, I almost feel sorry for old P.T. Okay, that's it, Bombast. This half of the money goes to charity, and this half goes to pay off your bad debts. Well, there goes your dad's present. There's nothing left to pay me. I appreciate your confidence, Mr. Bombast. Huh? Do you really think I could be a successful showman like you? As my new partner, Sheriff, I'll teach you everything I know. That should kill a couple of minutes. And you felt sorry for old P.T. What about my present for your dad? Don't worry. I just had an idea. Open Benji's present next, Dad. Happy birthday, Professor! Happy birthday to you! Ah! He man in a time warp. Where am I? Ancient pre-Eternia, lost land of the dinosaurs. Thunderous Tyrannosaurus Rex battles mighty Bionotops, ferocious dinosaurs. Take this, He-Man. How can He-Man survive? I have power. New from the Masters of the Universe, figures Bionotops, Tyrannosaurus Rex, and Turbodactyl eat so suddenly. Can He-Man escape the past and them? Too bad. We'll be double trouble for He-Man. He-Man. I'll get him. No, he's mine. Too bad Skeletor and He-Man figures each soul separately. Too bad. Well, well, an evil warrior. Two warriors. The name's Too Bad. Too bad for you. Oh, yeah. Who wants me first? You get him. No, I'm getting out of here. Too bad. New from the Masters of the Universe collection. Other action figures each soul separately. From Mattel. In 2086, two peaceful aliens journeyed to Earth, seeking our help. In return, they gave us the plans for our first hyperdrive, allowing mankind to open the doors to the stars. We have assembled a team of unique individuals to protect Earth and our allies, courageous pioneers committed to the highest ideals of justice and dedicated to preserving law and order across the new frontier. These are the adventures of the Galaxy Rangers.
Put those weapons away. We want to take this guy by surprise. With that money, we can get a whole fleet of Andorian hyperdrives. What the? That one's at the door, Benbot. I said put it away. Sorry, Chugga. Let's get down to business. Get set. Veggie man. Mm, yeah, you got the stuff. Well, if you're buying, we're selling. See? Super Trooper Juice. Straight from the World Federation DNA Labs. There ain't but a handful left in known space. Now, Veggie Man, let's see your cash. Stand still! What's the matter with you? Hey, what are you hiding? Ugh. What is that? Uh, <laughs> Hi there. Uh. Where's the money? You see, well, that is, we never carry cash. We always leave home without it. That's too bad for you. Get rid of them. There. <laughs> Hey, we come in. Ah, it's a trap! What kept you? We're after the overboss. You'll get nothing from us. Round him up. Ow. I gotta dump the evidence. Ooh. Hold it right there. It's gonna blow! Maybe I can save something. Do your stuff, Pathfinder. Okie doke, Doc! Entering the system! Ooh. I'm in! Looking for any data in particular? Access any codes for the Overboss. Hurry! Doc, there's no time! Everybody out! How about this stuff? Grab what you can! Doc, come on! Pathfinder, we're leaving. Suits me fine! Cut that pretty close, Doc. We want Overboss, don't we? We could try my method. Put him down, Goose. Relax. I think I've got a way to get to Overboss. Uh-oh. Another stroke of the Doctor's genius? Amazing, isn't it? I just hope Commander Walsh buys it. Commander, another call from Senator Gans. All right, put her on. The Super Trooper program ended years ago, but smuggling of those illegal DNA samples could spell the end of the League of Planets. I assure you, we have several leads on the Overboss. We'll get him. I'm putting you and your Galaxy Rangers on notice, Walsh. The board is ready to chop heads on this one. Okay, let's hear it. Here's what Pathfinder got out of that data droid. We know the Overboss operates out of Tortuna. He learned the Queen of the Crown wants the Federation's only sample of Super Trooper juice. This stolen sample is on the way to her empire now. The Super Trooper juice would allow the replication of mutant armies. The Overboss has hired Brappo to hijack the shipment for him. All we have to do is hijack the shipment first and use the samples to get to Overboss. He wants them so badly, he'll have to deal with us. We prevent the Queen from obtaining the Super Trooper DNA, plus we trap Overboss. Good show! The Crown ship will stop to refuel at that base. So the Queen thinks. Dozo, 
You and Waldo would endanger our cover. You're out of this one. We reluctantly concur, Commander. Zachary, you'll need a juice detector from Longshot. Right, sir. The future of the League of Planets may be in your hands. Doc and Nico will take care of the refueling station. I'll go for the Super Trooper juice with the goose. The Queen has bought top priority for her ships. Her cargo ship is to be refueled as soon as it arrives. Yes, sir. Tripwire, go make sure all the alarms are deactivated. Wait, Doc! Firefly, short out the internal weapon systems. Gotcha, Doc! A manual lie. Talk about primitive. I thought the doctor could fix anything. Any suggestion? Yes, step aside. Hmm, this feels about right. You may applaud. First, let's knock out the beacon. Sure this'll work? It'll overload fast, but it'll last long enough. There's Doc's signal. Okay, we're in business. Let's get our ship into position. Captain, this beacon doesn't match with sector profiles. Probably getting some gravitational lensing. Maintain your approach on the beacon. Yes, sir. When the crown ship comes out, we have to be in the right spot. You worry too much. Ready to go to sunlight. Proceed. happening. They're in the middle of a planetary ring. Go to full shields. When you see an opening, take it. Just watch me. Shields are failing. Engines, emergency power to the shield. Now for some light exercise. I hope Overboss appreciates our trouble. This way. Just ahead. They must be getting ready to offload it onto a destroyer. Hey, hold it right there. Look what the hull monitor spotted. Galaxy Rangers, alert security. You all right? 
helmet's never gonna be the same. Let's move on. Intruders detected on deck seven one in damaged spacesuit. He don't press that area now. They're blowing the atmosphere. I'll stay and slow them down. You get the juice out of here. Don't give me that. I can get along without one, I think. Goose, you don't know whether you... Do it while there's still time. Come on, little implant. Goose! Seize the Ranger vessel and put us back on course. The Ranger ship has just powered up. Welcome back. Thanks, buddy. What's next? We rendezvous with Doc and Nico on Tortuna. They're putting out the bait now. Sir. The Queen of the Crown demands to know what's happened. Oi. Tortuna Executive Placement Agency. This is it. What do you do want? Some directions, Brappo. Got a juicy tidbit for the overboss. Uh-huh. Those two must be them. Go to this location outside town. Overboss will be waiting. Tell him I'll be expecting my commission. Thanks, handsome. They'll be there soon, Overboss. But I smell a trick of some kind. Then they'll find out I have a trick for them. Uh-oh. Hold it right there, uglies. Who are you calling uglies? Somebody here call for a cab? You're late! We've got the goods. And a meeting with the overboss. Or his thugs. Let's go wrap this thing up. Why, I'm sorry, I became a Galaxy Ranger. Reason number 62. Can't this thing go any faster, Goose? Nah, but I get great mileage. Here we go. They're still on our tail. Hang on.
Goose Man. You are a maniac! Switching in jumper jets. Get ready. Where's my pulse? I used to have a pulse! I'm turning blue! You don't look bluish. Goose, get set for another barrel roll. Ready. If there are no further objections, let's go get over, boss. Rappo sent us. Lifeline, go earn your supper and find Overboss. Yo, Doc! Allow me to introduce the Overboss! <gasps> How much for the Super Trooper juice? We want three million crowns in cash. Take it or leave it. And if I refuse? Last chance, Overboss. Very well. A deal. Well now, aren't you being cooperative? Too cooperative. Well, Doc? Lifeline, come to me. Check out this life form ID, Doc. You guessed it, Zachary. He's not over, boss. The orders are coming from him. You're not as clever as you thought. Take them. I wouldn't do that. This is a neutron bomb. <laughs> you fool! My men are fanatically loyal! Oh, come back here! I command you to take them prisoner! If you shoot, I release this and we all go. Well, who wants to buy it? Hey, what's your hurry? Well, Senator Gans. You sure know how to throw a fundraiser, Senator? You can't prove a thing! I was... I was merely conducting my own investigation! Oh, you can swear out a confession at Beta, Senator. And if I don't? Tortuna's non-leave. We'll have to leave you here. Leave? Leave me on Tortuna? Let's see. The Queen's after you. You probably owe Brappo money. And the competition will know who you are. No, you win. Just... just don't let them get me. Well, naturally, Senator. After all, if we have to, we can always smuggle you out. <laughs> Cuffer. She finds
for all the Care Bear Cubs and Care Bear Cousin Cubs. Each sold separately. New from Kenner with love. It's all new. Good parents for Cabbage Patch Kids. The Cabbage Patch My Kids. Baby. Each doll is different, and you can pretend to adopt them. My baby has a real diaper. You can love and care for them, like your very own. You're a pal. You're the only one. I love you. They're each one of a kind. They're Cabbage Patch Kids. You can give them all your love. Cabbage Patch Kids are each sold separately. Each doll comes with a pretend birth certificate and adoption papers from Coleco. the 31st century. Ulysses killed the giant Cyclops when he rescued the children and his son Telemachus. But the ancient gods of Olympus are angry and threaten a terrible revenge. Mortals, you defy the gods? I sentence you to travel among unknown stars until you find the kingdom of Hades. Your bodies will stay as lifeless as stone. Ulysses, the way back to Earth has been wiped from my memory. You are alive, my son. systems operating normally. Emergency circuits check out. Ship is all right. Father. Yes? It certainly is quiet around here today, isn't it? All systems functioning. Flight continuing as programmed. Now, steady. Wherever did I get this collection of lazy bones? Hey, you, some action. Oh, my, oh, my. Look at that clumsy. Tsk, tsk. Have to pay a little more attention to detail. Oh, what a mess. Oh, what's the matter with you? Work? A oh, robot's work is never Oh, that is... Uh, did I say anything to offend you? I just forget it. Hey, stop! Oh, they've all got to be sick. Hey, oh, watch it. Out of the way. Oh. Uh, come on, catch up with me if you're so clever. Now, what have you done to them, Nono? Nono, you know Nono, that's a Nono. Don't forget, you're a robot, too. Uh, but maybe I am a robot, but I have to have superior intelligence. All my circuits are super sophisticated. Uh-oh. Stop! Are you all right, children? Uh, not hurt. We were surprised. How do you explain that shaking, Shirka? <gasps> no, no. No, no. Oh. Oh, Father, look. Waiting for your answer, Shirka. Strange, Shirka isn't answering. Father, no, no is... What's the matter with him? Look! The Odyssey is veering off its course! Shirka, Shirka, by the great galaxies, answer, we're veering off course! 
Impossible to make corrections to trajectory. Adjacent corridor not ascertained. Take your places. Safety belts. Give me manual control of the ship. Quick! Controls aren't working. Shirka, manual controls immediately. Shirka, do you hear me? I ordered you to give me manual control. Machines only obey machines. Order rejected. By Jupiter's roar. What is going on here? Yes, automatic navigational control. Yes, emergency measures. I will program immediately. What in the gasping galaxy is going on? Shirka isn't answering me, and yet she is working. Command cabin hermetically sealed. You could almost say that the machines are trying to run themselves. The bodies must be recovered alive. What is going on? Crumbling asteroids! No, 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 save us! Uh, no, 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 help us! Uh, he can't! Come on, no, no, you can't leave us like this! Ulysses. What is it, you? I am Cortex, chief of the planet of the machines. Cortex? I am afraid the news isn't too good for you, humans. I will have to take your ship, the Odyssey. It really belongs to me. Is this some new trial? <laughs> For a nail. Delighted. Thank you very much. Mm. They're good. Oh, you know, you're the first person who ever actually ate one of my nails. And it is the first I've ever tasted. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Oh, oh, wait a minute. What is all this? Telemachus, Hubie, what happened to you? Why can't you move? Some power is holding us prisoner. You have to get us out of this. Naturally. You can count on good old reliable dodo. No, don't do that. Huh? Careful, Cortex is the master of this planet. He plans to take over the Odyssey. Take over our spaceship, does he intend to? Oh, that sounds a little... It's true, but all I have to do is obey orders from Cortex. He's our master. Come! Hey, 
Oh, they're breaking everything up. Please, please, no, no, you have to stop them. Hurry up before it is too late. Come on, Nolo, come with me. Don't bother about these humans. Come, Cortex is waiting. No, 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 don't listen and help us. Am I the prettiest robot you ever met? Oh, sure, of course. Oh, what a question. I mean it. I've never met anybody as pretty as you never. What a time for him to start playing Romeo. Am I prettier than she is? Oh, yes, yes, certainly. <gasps> hmm. Do you want to be my friend? I wouldn't mind. Then forget about these humans. No, no, we've always been friends. Would you just walk out on us? Oh. <sighs> oh, well. My name's Nanette. How do you do? And mine is... No, no, I know. Come along, follow me. Oh, dear, 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 dear. Come! Stand correctly. You're taking the Odyssey apart, but what do you do with the pieces? We give all the pieces to Cortex, and then he picks out the ones that look interesting to him, and he makes up a new machine with them. He keeps the rest for his personal power supply. Oh. We have no choice. We have to keep Cortex going, because if he should ever stop functioning... Oh. Please. Oh, don't talk about that. It's too sad. Oh, how happy I am to oh, admit well, you. me too. Millions of robots here, but they're not sophisticated. Their circuits are quite simple. Oh, yes, I know. I'm different from them. As I am. You see, I was so lonely with no one to talk to. You mustn't be sad, Nanette. No, no. You're our friend. How can you forget us? Tell them a kiss. Oh, you have to forget those humans. You're not like them. You're going to be happy here. You're a machine like me. You can only really be happy with your own kind. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> It's like a zoo. I suppose humans are strange objects to a robot. They're staring at us. I wish they wouldn't. The Telemachus Yui! Nono's come to set us free! Stop, Nono! They'll kill you! I'm sorry, but Telemachus is a friend of mine. I just cannot abandon no. him. Oh. Ah. Uh. Don't be stupid, no, no. Don't let them go free. They might take revenge on you. Maybe even disconnect you. <gasps> oh, I'm afraid to look. At last. Thanks, no, no. Ah. <sighs> <laughs> I knew you'd come back. <laughs> oh, aren't you going to punish no, no? He disobeyed you. He abandoned you. Don't you see that? Punish no, no. Uh, what? What an idea. Why does she say that? Uh, then Cortex will get him. He will be so angry. He will eat us. Nono is our friend. We'll protect him. Nothing's going to happen to him. Anyway, he only forgot us because of his lovely new friend, Nanette. We can't blame him too much. I don't understand. You must come from a very strange planet. Uh, we are from the planet Earth. There are lots of people and robots almost intelligent as us. Now, Nanette, you must take us straight to Cortex. It's very important. <laughs> We have to return to Earth, you understand? That's why it's absolutely essential that we get back our spaceship. Oh. And now that, please, I want to see the Earth again, too, and I want to show it to you. You can come with us if you like. How about it? Oh. All right. I'll take you to Cortex. Thank you, Nanette. I understand. Cortex is probably no more than a giant computer. Oh, look, Ulysses! Quick! 
quirks and charms if they dismantle the iris we're lost not the iris we have to stop them I suppose that is Cortex. That's how he feeds. <laughs> Poor little humans, what foolish bravery has brought you here. Cortex, I'll make a deal with you. Oh, a deal? I'm listening, human. You must give us back the Odyssey, or otherwise, we will destroy your city. <laughs> if you take our ship, there's no reason for us to leave. Give us our Odyssey back, Cortex. You can't make us stay here forever. <laughs> Such presumption. You will not return to the Earth. The gods do not wish it. The gods? The sign of the trident! Again? The gods of Olympus? Yes, the gods are my masters, and this time I assure you, you have lost. I see. Then you leave me no choice. True, from now on, indeed, you have no choice. <laughs> now, Ned. Great Lord Cortex! Why didn't you throw this robot into the repair room? Change his circuits immediately! Oh. Obey my orders. Do as I say, and I will make him your personal slave. Great Cortex, but I don't want a slave! What? Quiet. One more word from you and I'll have you dismantled. Oh, 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 oh. No, 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 no. He must have a weak point somewhere. There must be a way of disconnecting him, destroying him. <laughs> well, come in, Ulysses, if you are that stupid. You know the way. We have to put him out of commission once and for all. It's our only chance, Nanette. No matter what happens, we have to have our spaceship back. Cortex only wants to destroy it. He's dangerous. He has no feelings. Cut his power lines and it will all be over. Thank you, Nanette. I'll do that. No, Nanette. Stop him. If you do not stop him, you know what will happen to you. I can't see anything. It's too far down there. Even a laser couldn't reach that far. By the 
quantum leaps a cyborg. A living machine, my sword will be useless. Before it is too late, or you and I will both suffer. Right, now I'll cut it. Farewell, no, no. It's all finished for me now. I would have so liked to have gone away with you. He's stopped. His circuits have gone dead. And all the other machines have stopped. Now I understand. The robots on the planet were all linked to Cortex. And now that. And now that. My poor little Nana. I understand it all now. You just stopped when Cortex did. Your life depended on his. Nana. You knew this would happen to you, but you still went ahead and saved our lives. Oh, that, that. Oh, it's all over. Everything will be destroyed. You're right. Let's get away. No, no! Leo, me, Telemachus! No, no! Come quick! Odyssey Central Control. Automatic repair and regeneration systems now in operation. Everything is functioning normally. Feel the power, hear the roar. Bone Age, where cavemen fight in dinosaurs, where T-Rex meets Tritops in earth-shaking battles. Tritops, convert to battle wagon. T-Rex, convert to fly. Bone Age, assemble monsters never seen before. From the bones of these mighty dinosaurs, T-Rex and Tritops, each sold separately with a caveman. Feel the power of Bone Age. 
man. Only web store and his guy look to get inside and destroy that laser. Web store, castle, grace, call, and battle armor, he man. Oh. Up. You put the castle together. Do not get in this way, and web store will drop in from above. Now for the lady. I'll get you through that, web store. Catch me if you can. Man. Web store figure, new from the Masters of the Universe collection. He man and Castle Grace call each soul separately from Mattel. Marvel Action Universe. With Spider Man. And Robocop. Marvel Action Universe. Spider Man. That Spider-Man was an all right dude. All right, men, you heard the chief. Get Spider-Man. And I don't care how you do it. Somehow I've got to prove that Spider-Man's innocent of all these crimes. Are you ready, Petey dear? Ready for what, Aunt May? Oh, the carnival. You promised to... Peter? Uh, I'll be right there, Aunt May. Whatever are you doing in the closet, dear? Just, uh, fixing the line, Aunt May. Oh. <sighs> Mortimer, the Federal Bank's getting a big shipment of gold. And I want you to cover the story. Uncle Jonah! Don't take any unnecessary chances. That rotten Spider-Man's on a crime rampage. Don't you worry, Uncle Jonah. If Spider-Man shows up, I'll be ready for him. Are you sure you want to do this, Aunt May? Oh, yes, indeedy. Uh, unless it's too much for you, dear. You really sure you want to do this, Aunt May? Of course. Now, you let me check your seatbelt, dear. Now, uh, what do they say? Three, two, one, blast off!
Well, that's what we used to call a real humdinger. Hurry, hurry, hurry! Step right up! It's only a quarter! Who's next? Ooh, that looks like fun, children. Uh-oh, my spider sense. What'd you say, Peter? Uh, I said, uh, here we go again. been on one of these in years. Peter. What, Aunt May? Maybe you should wait here for us, dear. I'm worried about you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> right, Aunt May. Thanks. I think he may have been bitten by a bug. of the century. And with my special hypnotic gas, the eyewitnesses will swear they saw Spider-Man do it. <laughs> One hundred million in gold, the crime of the century, and all blamed on Spider-Man. Of course, there is one small flaw. Spider-Man. Very good. You got it right the first time. All right, get him, boys. <laughs> Unlocked all the animal cages, web spinner. Okay, what'll it be, wall crawler? Stopping me or saving all those innocent people out there? Your choice, webhead. Me, me, no! 
Round one to you, Ringmaster. Quickly now, boys, to the Federal Bank. At least Aunt May and Betty are safe. This is worse than Kitty Day at the movies. me an idea. That does it. Peter! Peter, dear, where are you? Well, almost. Oh, no! Jonah, I can take pictures better than that creep, Parker. This is a cinch. Huh?
shall we wait and fire? Grab him! Now! You'll never get away with this! One more spider line, please! Now, friend, my hypnogast will allow you to believe you saw Spider-Man commit this crime. But Spider-Man stole the gold. It, it was Spider-Man. Spider-Man took the gold shipment. We interrupt for a special report. Spider-Man has just robbed the Federal Bank of more than $100 million in gold. I repeat, Spider-Man has just made off with $100 million in gold. More on our regular newscast. Spider-Man did what? Oh, something bad, as usual. Oh, look, Peter, darts! Come on, let's play a game, shall we? Huh? Oh, a uh, great idea. Uh, 50 plays. Have fun, you two. What I call beautiful. 100 million in gold. Now for the final touch. Gorgon, son of Kong. Even Spider-Man would fight Gorgon. Haven't you learned your lesson yet? Hi there! Oh, now, we're not going to go through this again, are we, wall crawler? Not planning on it, Top Hat! planning on you either. Oh great, I'm out of web fluid. Good thing I carry refills. Oh no, that was my last refill. Nice monkey, good fella. And May would love this ride. <laughs> I can see you two want to be alone. And I have to make final arrangements to sell 100 million in gold. Ah, of course. Gold is soft. These bars should... That'll hold them. Now to stop the ringmaster from selling that gold. Don't. 
$100 million in cash. It'll be here in an hour. Hey, uh, hey, what's going on? Don't forget to feed your little friend. When he's out of bananas, he gets out of sorts. Nice, Gorgon. Uh, good, Gorgon. Uh, have a banana. Step right up, ladies and gentlemen. See the wildest animals of all. Thieves, crooks, and dummies. This is great, my boy. This should put that blasted Spider-Man behind bars for sure. <laughs> You're due for a raise. Why, uh, thank you, Uncle Jonas. What? Spider-Man didn't commit the bank robbery? Some clown at the carnival did? Mortimer? But, uh, I, I saw him, didn't I? Hi, Aunt May, Betty. Having fun? Here. Oh, at last. Oh, let's go. We've been worried sick. Hey, lady, you won the grand prize. Ooh. You always said you wanted to get your hands on Spider-Man, Aunt May. And I'm putting him right where he belongs, dear. Masters of the Universe, Hordak reveals the most gruesome trap ever. Welcome to the Slime Pit. The what? The Slime Pit. Now, Spike, or you're my slave, not the slime. Yes, my slime will overpower you. I've been slime. No one escapes the evil horde slime pit. Yes. The evil horde slime pit. New from the Masters of the Universe. You put it together. Think your soul separately from Mattel. Look at Crap Jaw. Crap Jaw, Battle Cat, and He-Man each sold separately, straight not included. That book won't stop He-Man. In Crap Jaw, he uses vicious claw. Still no contact. In Crap Jaw, he uses vicious laser. Even a one-armed army can't stop He-Man and Battle Cat. You win this coin, He-Man. Crap Jaw figure from the Masters of the Universe collection. He-Man and Battle Cat figures each sold separately. From Mattel. After years of peaceful existence on the distant planet Valoria, Questar and his people were forced into battle. The power of their step crystal ripped a hole in the fabric of time, sending them backward to prehistoric Earth. Unaware that at the same moment the evil Emperor Krulos was plotting to capture the step crystal with his own grotesque Rulon forces. And so the battle continues in a new place in time with Dino Riders. Be pleased. 
The pulse cannon is ready. Yes, Lord Krulos. It took weeks to refine the chemicals for the necessary fuel cells, but we finally achieved the necessary concentration. It was, if I may point out, a particularly difficult... Silence! What do I care for your difficulties? I care only about results. Let the demonstration proceed! Very good, Great One. I want two of these ready immediately. They will require a dinosaur that is fast but extremely strong. I know just what we need. Get to work and rebuild the refinery equipment. Tomorrow we start a new production run. Release the chemical waste. See what's happening by the river. I'm on my way, Questar. Questar, hurry! The dinosaurs look really sick. What is it, Serena? I think I can keep him alive, but I'll need medication from the base to cure him. He drank something poisonous. Poison? From where? From the river. Lad, get back to base and get the neutralizer. And hurry! Youngstar, see if you can spot anything from overhead. I'm on my way, Questar. Questar, Serena, there are more dinosaurs along the riverbank. They're sick, too. They're poisoning the dinosaurs. There's nothing they won't do. Nothing too evil, nothing too cowardly. Somebody's got to stop them, and it might as well be me. Youngstar, come back! You can't take on the Rulans all by yourself. What's gotten into Youngstar? What's he trying to do? I don't know. Mount up! I have a feeling he's gonna get himself in trouble. The Kentrosaurus, armed with my new pulse cannons, it shall be the first of a division with which I shall crush the Dino Riders. <sighs> we must find a suitable way to initiate it. Krulos, I'm coming for you! I'm gonna take care of you once and for all! Krulos, an intruder is approaching. <laughs> it's Youngstar, and his timing is perfect. Blast him from the sky, now! Young Star has been blasted from the sky! Scab, Croc, go out and find his body. <laughs> we shall celebrate! Young 
Youngstar, Youngstar! I'll have to try something else. Fly under Youngstar, now! What got into you? Why didn't you hear my call? You tried to contact me? I didn't hear it. I was just so mad, I, I guess I kind of blanked out. Let's get back to the others. The supplies have arrived to clear the river of the poison. Well, Selena, your patient is obviously feeling much better. You did an amazing job. I kept him stable, but it was the neutralizer that cleared up the river. Find any more sick dinosaurs, turd? No! The immediate area is clear! When Lad comes back from his aerial search, we'll know for sure. Here's some fresh water. And don't drink from the river for a few days. Questar, what are we gonna do? We can't have our friends endangered like this. I know. Gunner, what's the situation? Well, so far, it looks like all the sick dinosaurs have been taken care of. Well, that's some good news. Fortunately, you spotted the problem early while there was still time to help. The poison is chemical waste from the Rulon base, a weapons refinery, I think. We've neutralized it in the river. There should be no further problems there. <laughs> That's great, for now. But what about next time? Are we just going to let Krulos get away with this? Statistically speaking, the toxic pollution has a longer life than anyone might expect. Questar, let me! You have already demonstrated the result of an attack without a plan, young star. I couldn't help it. I wanted to do something. I was mad, and I still am. Young Star, you may feel anger, but you must rise above it. Anger is the enemy of effective action, and it is the enemy of the path. Questar, I did a complete sweep of the area. There aren't any more dinosaurs in the grasslands, but I couldn't be sure about the jungle. All right, everyone, we've got to check the jungle areas. There may be more poisoned animals. Youngstar, you can't see much from the air. Ride with turret on the Edmontonia. Questar, I don't need a keeper. This is not a request. It's an order. I, uh, hear you had quite a fall back there, Youngstar. Yeah, so? Hey, why don't we head a little more to the east? But, uh, isn't that awfully close to the Rulon base? I think I saw something in that area when I was flying overhead. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. We must find that dino rider, Young Star. Who knows how long Krulos will remain in such a good mood? You short-sighted fool! When we find Young Star, Krulos will reward us with a promotion! First, we have to find him. He's not here. He's got to be down here somewhere. We saw him fall to Earth with our own eyes. Wait! Can it be true? He's... he's alive! Not for long. Our reward will be even richer when we bring Krulos to Dino Riders. Krulos! We better get out of here! We don't have any backup! No! Those two are probably the ones who shot me down! Youngstar, we can't do this alone! I'm contacting Questar! Hold it! This is between me and them. I've got a score to settle! Get ready to roll! Youngstar's found himself some Rulons! And trouble. Surrender now! Yes! Perhaps Krulos can trade you for the step the star! Or maybe he'll just toss you back! You're too small to keep! I'll destroy you, Rulons! I'm gonna make you pay for what you did to my Kensico Atlas! And for what you did to me this morning! Your horns! Use your horns! I don't know. I, I, I've lost contact with...
with your Edmontonia! What should we do? Take the both of them and the Edmontonia back to Krulos? Oh, that would surely please him. Count yourself lucky if you make it back to Dreadlock with your own skins intact. Let's get out of here. I... I don't know. Suddenly, I lost all contact with the Edmontonia. I, I just couldn't communicate with it. Earlier this morning, you didn't hear me when I called you as you flew off to Dreadlock. And then you weren't able to summon your Quetzalcoatlus when you fell. I had to do it for you. Hmm, it is as I feared. Young Star has given in to anger. His hatred of Krulos has blocked his ability to use his telepathy. As a result, he is losing the path. When it is gone, he will no longer be a dino rider. Tell me, the Kindrasaurus, did it fail you? No, Lord Krulos! Did the pulse cannons not function? The armor, did it not protect you? No, 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 Krulos! It performed as it should. So, you would say that my new pulse cannon was adequate then? Oh, yes, sir. Far more than adequate. It is an excellent weapon, sir. I see. And yet on two occasions you faced a dino rider in combat and failed! <laughs> it was you who failed, wasn't it? We defeated them! We could have finished them off if Questar hadn't showed up! Silence! Failure has a thousand excuses. Success needs none. I'm going to make an example of you. How? <laughs> Not as you think. Come, I want to prove that even the most incompetent of my troops may triumph if they are properly motivated. You will go after the Dino Rider who humiliated you. Your motivations will be hate, fear, and envy. I want you to hate your enemy. I want you to fear my wrath more than anything you fear he may do to you. And I want you to envy victory so much that you will tear it from his grasp. Oh, that was great. Youngstar ought to give him another try. Say, where is Youngstar anyway? He's off by himself. He has a lot of thinking to do. is the way of harmony. You cannot follow the path with anger in your heart. But I am angry when I see what the Rulons do. I want to fight them, to stop them once and for all. It is true that we must battle the Rulons. They have given us no choice. But we must not hate them. Hate is an acid, and it destroys the jar that contains it. How can we fight the Rulons without hating them? We fight for what is right. There would be no point in fighting the Rulons only to become Rulons ourselves. What do you mean, Mind's Eye? The Rulons are driven by negative emotions, by hatred, fear, and envy. With their mighty armies, they have won many victories. But with such emotions in their hearts, they can never truly be strong. Our people have always found strength in love, and that is surely the most powerful force of all. Can I regain the path? Sit a while, meditate on these things, and if you want it enough, you will find it in your heart.
Pick him! Let's go! This time, Young Star won't get away! Anyone, I'm pinned down by Rulons. Need help now. You can't hide, Dino Rider. Let the path give me strength. to drive! I boosted the power charge on the front cannon. I think they really felt that one. They sure did. Now let's give them something else to think about. Well, let's take them down. No, this is Young Star's fight. No more games, Dino Rider. Let this be our final fight. You are no match for our Rulon War Machine! They're too close to use the Pulse Cannon! I'll do something else! Come on! Turn around, you stupid beast! Get going! Get going! This is not a mere sporting contest we are engaged in! This is war! Turret take over. There's something I have to do. I knew you'd come. Fate. What do you suppose happened? I take it that was your doing. Yes. Uh, there was a message I wanted to send to Krulos personally, but I didn't do it out of anger or hate. From now on, I'll leave those feelings to Krulos. Yeah, he's had more practice with them. <laughs> Chances are he's practicing them this very minute.
Punch here! Thunder Punch He-Man from the Masters of the Universe collection. Skeletor and Castle Greystone each sold separately. The new He-Man Power Sword. Cool! It makes sounds! Skeletor! <laughs> the Power Sword makes eight action sounds. <laughs> It lights up with power. You can be a hero with the He-Man Power Sword. And you can be a hero with Flip Shot, Flog, and the Mighty Bowler Jet. All toys sold separately from He-Man. Detroit, the near future. Officer Alex J. Murphy and his partner, Ann Lewis, fight to rid the decaying city of the criminal element which invests it. After being mortally wounded in the line of duty, Officer Murphy is outfitted by OCP with bulletproof titanium robotic parts and with computer-enhanced motor and sensory capabilities. He has become the ultimate super cop. Robocop. And I assure you, Effendi, that these are the finest in my country's new top-line series. The absolute state-of-the-art worth an Ayatollah's ransom on the black market. <laughs> Wouldn't care to test it, Effendi? Oh, do not worry. These walls are soundproof. Sure, why not? Lightweight, smooth, accurate, and deadly. Bashim, you got yourself a de... You said no one could hear us. No one can. That is, no one human. He's not human. He's Robocop. You are all under arrest for the smuggling, possession, and sale of illegal weapons. You have the right to remain silent. Silent, huh? Let's show this ironclad freak some silent. And discharge. The discharging of an illegal weapon. Okay, I'm silent, and not another syllable. And the foreign experimental weapons are now in police custody, out of the reach of the criminals, thanks to that half-man, half-machine law enforcer, Robocop. On a less optimistic note, the problem of teen gangs in old Detroit continues to increase. You two did a great job, but cataloging all these weapons is gonna take an awful lot of paperwork. And frankly, right now, I don't have the time to deal with all this bureaucratic red tape. Something bothering you, Sergeant Reed? More than just something, Officer Lewis. First off, I'm understaffed. Second, this teen gang problem is getting completely out of control. And third, there's... there's Dirk. Uh, hi, Unc. Ready to go, Unc? The game will be starting in about an hour. And it's an important one. Our school is playing against our top rival, Metro South. Okay, Chino, you're out of here. But next time, we'll get enough evidence to send you to Juvie Hall. Till you're old enough for prison. Who says there's gonna be a next time, Officer Russ, sir? Oh, the game. Listen, Dirk, I'm sorry, but with all that's going on, I, I, I just can't leave the station. On top of everything else, I've got to catalog all these experimental weapons. I'm really sorry, but you'll have to go alone. Russ, will you give my nephew a lift back to the Metro East boarding school? No problem, Sarge. Right. Who'd want to go with somebody like me anyway? What's biting, Lotus, is the slammers. If not for those scuzz buzzers, us assassins would be top gang in this metro burg. But the slammers outnumber us three to one. And they got more steel. If we rumble with them now, they'd zap our... Not if we zap theirs first. But what's that babble, Chino? You better not be jiving me, man. Hey, no jive man, JD. I know how we can zap out the slammers. Like, totally. Using the hottest bad zap weapons in all of old Detroit. The one's rubber fuzz, Glee. Yeah? And how are we supposed to get those weapons, brain boy? Trust me. Looks to me like Sergeant Reed and his nephew both have a problem, Murphy. Dirk obviously feels inferior because of his alleged handicap. But I understand, Dirk. That is why I must try to help him. Assuming, of course, that he wants to be helped. Mr. All-American, 
How come you're sitting out this game? <laughs> Just leave me alone. Aw, oh, come on, Dirky Worky. Don't be so sensitive. Tom and I just came over to keep you company. Yeah? Is this be kind to Invalids Week or something? <laughs> nah. I just had a thing for guys with winning personalities and distinguished walks. <laughs> Murphy, isn't that Dirk over there? There were 51,337 traffic fatalities last year in this country alone. Be more careful next time, citizen, or you could be number 51,338. Wait, Dirk. I want to talk to you. There's nothing to talk about. Un couldn't come, so he sent you instead, right? Can't blame him, though. Who wants a kid who's... who's... I came here because I wanted to, Dirk to tell you that you can overcome your handicap. Yeah, fancy words. But I'm the one who's got to wear this leg hardware. What do you know about? I know, Dirk. Look, you saved my life, OK? I'm grateful, and I owe you for that. But otherwise, just do like everybody else always does. But There's out nothing of my you life. can do for him, Murphy. I know. It is up to him to realize his own worth as a human being. That is something we must all learn for ourselves. Right, Lewis? Right, Murphy. Hey, Dirk, what's shaking with you, my man? Uh huh? Who's out there? It's Gino, a friend, the best friend you'll ever have. I remember. You were at the police station. Right. But hey, the cops said I was innocent, and I was. Why are you here? To tell you that you got more good friends, Dirk who don't care if you got a limp for zap leg. Not like the scuzz buzzers here at school, or like your uncle. Yeah? And just who are these other friends? Come on, man, I'll show you. How do I know you're not lying to me? Hey, Dirk. Trust me. Wow. I forgot that old Detroit used to have a subway system. Yeah, so did everyone else. But me and our friends remember and got to know every tunnel down here, every inch of track. Chino, you still haven't told me. Just who are these friends? Hey, Durky, welcome to the domain of the assassins. The assassins? You mean the gang? You tricked me, Chino. And gullible me believed you. Hey, why the takeoff, Durky? Uh, don't hurt me, please. I'm handicapped. Hurt you, man? Why do we ever want to hurt a friend? But you're a gang. What else would you want with a guy like me? So we want to give you things, Durky. Things you never got from that Laos House boarding school or from your Uncle Fuzz. Things you always dreamed about, like notoriety, respect. And like being popular. You'd like that, wouldn't you, Durky? Especially with films like Lotus. I, yes, I'd like it fine. We want you to join us, Dirk. Become one of the assassins. After a little initiation. Initiation? All you gotta do is zap on down to Metro West Police Station and get us inside the evidence storeroom. So, my friend, you gonna be an assassin or what? Inside the police station? I, uh, I'm not sure I could. I know you could, Dirk. You look like great assassin material to me. Well, um, okay. I guess so. I'll do it. Yeah! Oh, yeah. 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 It's amazing. I never thought it was possible. But an entire two weeks have gone by without my having to make a single major repair on you, Robocop. Still, perhaps a precautionary tune-up would... I tell you, nothing is wrong. I am just under a lot of pressure. Sergeant, you can level with me. OK, Ed. It's Dirk. He's missing from the boarding school. He's been gone since early last night, and I'm worried. I'm afraid he's run away. Dirk's a good kid, Sergeant Reed. He'll show up, you'll see. I should have taken him to that ball game. You know, since his parents died, I'm the only family he's got. I shouldn't have let him down. Don't blame yourself. He's a big kid now and can probably take care of himself, despite his handicap. 
I hope you're right. And uh, thanks for the concern. You are really not worried, Lewis? So I lied. You mean this train still runs? After we fixed it, Durkee. Next stop, Metro West Fuzz Station. <laughs> Sorry, Dirk, but your uncle's not here. He punched out hours ago. Uh, he did? Yeah, at this hour, we just got a skeleton crew on duty. Even Robocop's asleep. Hey, that's odd, Dirk. You should know your uncle's work schedule by now. Uh, uh right, Lieutenant Hedgecock. I guess I should. Promise I'll remember next time. You get it, Dirky? Uh, I think so, JD. Yeah, this ought to do it. Hey, JD. Presto opreno. Can you bring it? Bust it into a fuzz station. Remember, your uncle's getting what he deserves for dusting you off. This combination had better work. There they are. That's the evidence room alarm. If there's been a security breach, my SWAT team will handle it. Do it what you can, then let's blast out of here. Remember the strategy, men. Get hard and fast. They're kids. How do we fight kids? All right, kids. It's playtime. Let's test out our new toys. Get back! They got those new... Believe it, but Sergeant Reed's nephew was one of them. This will stop those fuzz buzzers. Time to blast out of here! We gotta stop those punks. If they get away with those weapons... Go on. Like they just disappeared. The youths responsible for the Metro West break in were later identified as members of the Assassins, the second most dangerous teen gang in old Detroit. Positively recognized with the gang was Dirk Reed, the nephew of Metro West's own Sergeant Reed. No way, Lieutenant. Stolen weapons or no stolen weapons, your SWAT team is not gonna march through the streets like Nazi stormtroopers hunting down the Assassins. But, Reed, this is all out war. Unless you're making an exception, because one member of that gang of low lifes happens to be... Correction. Suspected member. SWAT team intervention could severely aggravate the situation. I suggest that Lewis and I handle this one alone. Agreed, Lieutenant? Agreed, tin can man. At least for now. The question is, why would the assassins want such weapons? I bet it's not to rob convenience stores. The logical answer, to war on their arch rivals and become the city's number one teenage gang. You mean a high-tech rumble with the slammers? With those weapons, it'd be a massacre. Which is why we must go to the slammers' territory and attempt to prevent this massacre. Uh, JD, please listen to me. You can't go through with this. Somebody could get... That's the general idea, Durkee. If I'd have known it'd lead to this, I'd never have made friends with you. <laughs> friends? Listen, Crippo, we were never your friends. We used you so we could gleep this hardware from your Uncle Fuzz. All right, get ready to rumble, because we're rolling out to Slammerland. Hey, Slammers, where are you hiding? Under the trash cans with the other vermin? <laughs> I think the Slammers are overrated, JD. Otherwise, they choke. Maybe they got feathers, Chino. Who let anybody drop on their scuzzed out turf? <laughs> your first mistake was strutting your assassin tails into a war zone. That was also your last mistake. And wrong, Creepo. You're the one who made the mistake. Assassins, zap them! You are in violation of participating in an unlawful assemblage and of the possession by miners of illegal weapons. I suggest you put them down and surrender without resistance, or else. Or else what, Robo Fuzz? 
what's getting put down is you! I repeat, surrender now. He's slowing down. The hardware is too tough for him. Let's give him the whole payload! much more of this. I don't know where the assassins got those weapons, but if they can zap out Robocop, think what they'll do to us. We're out of here! Lewis. Lewis, I need... need... Murphy, what's wrong? Murphy! No. No! I said I owe Robocop. Now it's time to pay him back. Huh? You got a brain sack, Crypto? Come on! Oh, oh, watch it! Oh. Oh. Ah. Oh. He's got a cheese! Hey, look! You are all under arrest! Huh? We're under you anymore! Drop your weapons! You are all under arrest! I agree! I'm under arrest! Yes, sir! Take me to the can! I'm all yours, Officer Robocop, sir! You okay, Murphy? They stopped me for a while, but caused no real damage. Well, here comes our backup! But as usual, they missed all the fun! You mean it's all over? But somebody's got to cart these punks to their new concrete lodgings. Looks like no one was hurt. But what about Dirk? Is he... Dirk, he's right here, Uncle Fuzz. And he'll keep breathing long as you and your copper barbers back off and let me zap out of here free and clear. Dirk, this is all my fault. If I'd given you more of my time, been the uncle I should have been. Trash the soap opera, Uncle Fuzz. Am I out of here, or does Dirkie do his big fade out? Just say the word, Sergeant, and I'll... No, Lieutenant. All right, you're free to go, but just please, please don't hurt him. Just don't try and follow us, and maybe I won't. We should have moved in on him. We may never get another chance to nail that gang leader. Never say never, Mr. Fuzz. JD sold us out. So maybe, maybe we should return the favor. We can help you find that mutant. Maybe you'll survive this ride. And just where do you think you could go, Mr. Big Shot Gang Leader? To the end of the line, Durkey. Out of this crummy city and away from the Metro West Police. According to Chino, those sewers connect with the city's abandoned subway system. The computers at headquarters should provide data on the subway. But those are just maps, and the subway system spreads under the whole city. That train could be anywhere. But electrical power will only register from one tunnel. Murphy, they're headed toward the end of the line. But that's been... I know. OCP is building a new facility there. That means that the subway track may already have been removed. It won't be long now, Durkey. And who knows? I may just keep you around for a while, just in case. No way, JD. The ride's ended here and now. What the? Give me that weapon. Override that target, triple. You jerk! You ruin the control of the train for a while. Nothing can stop it. We're gonna be total. You can't do this! It's suicide! Wrong! It's my job! You're writing this out alone, Darky!
is alive, but his legs are crushed beyond medical repair. Then Dirk will never walk again? There may be one chance. Well, I've done what I can, Sergeant Reed. The rest is up to Dirk. Of course, OCP will assume all costs. After all, Dirk did try to save Robocop. Hi. They say that with these new braces, I'll soon be able to walk and run as good as anybody. Easy, Dirk. It takes practice to get used to them. Take it from me. Dirk, uh, there's a big game today down at the sports arena, and, uh... Let's do it, Unc. But soon I'm gonna be playing instead of just watching. You know what else? When I get older, I'm gonna be a policeman. You mean like Robocop? Sort of, Officer Lewis. But actually, more like my uncle. Sergeant Reed. and Hotbird each sold separately. Now let's see them in action. And they're off and running. They're fast, they're hot. That's why they call them Hot Wheels. It's a face-off. Howie's Hotbird can really hold the time. His Tricar X8 is running great. Frank's Firebird funny car just missed by women by inches. You can zap them, zip them, crash them, bash them. Hot Wheel cars are built to take plenty of punishment and keep on rolling fast. So fast even I can't talk fast enough to tell you about all the action. Oh, wow. Hot Wheels, Firebird, Funny Car, Tricar, X8, Bywayman, and Hotbird each sold separately. Some cars not for use with some sets. From Hot Wheels by Mattel. Give Gonzo a boost. Mm, okay. Ready when you are, Kermit? Hey, watch it. Careful. One, One two, two, three. How's that, Gonzo? Uh, much better. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. What do you see, Kermit? Uh oh. I think we've been spotted. It's a big destroyer, and it's, it's headed straight for us. And how do we stop? Engine room, engine room. Full speed ahead. Aye, aye, Captain. We've got to get out of here before they sink us. Close all watertight hatches! Dive! 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 Dive? Uh, Not you, Fuzzy. The submarine. Oh, uh, I know that. Uh, they're making a run for it, sir. This is your captain speaking. 
Everyone to your battle stations! Battle! Battle! Just a minute, Skeeter. I thought I was the captain. No way, Scooter. The last time you were captain, the coach sank before it even got away from the dock. Well, nobody's perfect. That charge is ready! You kids better hold down the noise. Our next door neighbor, Officer Carruthers, just called. He thought maybe you were building a freeway in here. Freeway! <laughs> now you all know that Officer Carruthers is a policeman. <laughs> and that he has to sleep during the day because he works at night. <laughs> and you know if he doesn't get enough sleep, he wakes up all grumpy and grouchy. So just play like civilized children, and you won't have to worry. Worry! <laughs> if we can't keep Animal quiet, there's no telling what Officer Carruthers will do to us. Yeah, maybe he'll send us all to jail. Or give us a one-way ticket to the Twilight Zone. Or, or, or what if he spreads chunky peanut butter all over our faces and forgets the grape jelly? What? Never mind. There's nothing to worry about. Nanny said all we have to do is play like civilized children. And that's just what we'll do. Right? Right. Come on, you guys. We gotta clean this place up. Animal, we've gotta keep him quiet. Or something awful is gonna happen to us. I just know it. Don't worry. I'll keep him busy with some of my great jokes. Hey, animal! Why did the chicken cross the road? Chicken! <laughs> but that's not the joke. Hey, Fuzzy, forget the jokes. We need to shut him up, not crack him up. Hmm. If you want a job done right, give it to a pig. Hmm. Huh? What? Shh. Animal, now listen very closely while Piggy reads you a wonderful story. And don't make a sound. Or else. <clears throat> Let's see. Here it is. Once upon a time... There was a fabulous kingdom with a really fantastic castle. And the most beautiful princess in the whole universe, Princess Piggy. <laughs> Quiet! Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear! I'm all out of chocolate. What will I do? <whistles> you rang me, lady? No, I whistled. I want some more chocolates. And some bonbons, an ice cream sundae, some bubble gum, and a double cheeseburger with fries! <laughs> Talk about pigging out! Listen, there will be no wisecracks during my story. Anyhow, the royal palace was not without its royal problems. Is he a man-eater? No, it's much worse than that. He's a dancer. And every time he dances, the castle starts to break. Gee, maybe he's a break dancer. Got it? There will be no jokes in my story either, Fozzie. Especially bad ones. Sorry. It's okay. And so, Princess Piggy put out the word that whomever defeats the dragon shall win her hand in marriage. Ouch, I hurt my thumb. So, in response to Princess Piggy's royal challenge, came the bravest knights in the kingdom, Sir Kermit, Sir Fozzie, and Sir Gonzo. Ta-da! Ow! Ah, never fear, Princess Piggy. I shall slay the dragon for you. But, Sir Fozzie, you have no sword. I, I, I don't? Oh, brother. Gee, I know I have one here somewhere. Oh, Piggy, is that Fuzzy Swoosh? 
But he hasn't got a chance. I know. I guess I'll have to battle the dragon without a sword. I know. I'll use my feather. Are you crazy, Fuzzy? You can't stop a dragon with a feather. Oh, uh, I know that. Uh, all I have to do is write a couple of killer jokes. And when he's doubled over with laughter, waka waka waka. I hope. Good luck, Shufazi. Here, here we go. Uh, you love this. Knock, knock. Um, Fuzzy, can I talk to you for a minute? Uh, huh? Dragons can't talk. Uh, oh. Better try it again. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, this one will kill you. What did the big dragon say to the mouse? <laughs> Give up? Nothing. Dragons can't talk. Pretty funny, huh? <laughs> What a lousy sense of humor. Oh, poor Sir Fuzzy. Next! Oh boy, my turn. <laughs> Get ready to kiss me hello, Princess Piggy, and kiss that dragon goodbye. Good luck, Enzo. Gee, he's got a lot of guts for a little blue weirdo. Okay, Buster. I throw down my gauntlet and I challenge you to a duel. And you with my saber <laughs> and say unto you had enough <laughs> that must have been enough uh, don't worry gonzo i'll have you to the body shop in no time oh sir Kermit, please please don't fight the dragon he'll make frog meat out of you fear not fear princess um i mean um fear not Fair princess, I shall not fight the dragon. What? You know what they say, if you can't beat him, dance with him. Oh, how romantic. Let's boogie! Oh, boogie, boogie, animal dance. Why? Yes, Officer Carruthers. Oh, no. It's Officer Carruthers. He's gonna bring the whole police force over here and arrest us. Quick! Turn out the lights! We've got to escape before they find us. Shh! They could be anywhere. Uh, they've spotted us! Run for it! This way! Out. Well, we didn't want the police to get... I mean, we didn't want to waste electricity. Officer Carruthers called again. He yeah. Mm-hmm. And you know what he said? What? He said that you woke him up again. We did? It wasn't my fault, Nanny. I don't want to go to jail. Don't let him take me, please. Now, Fozzie, there's nothing to worry about. There isn't? Not if you're quiet, so we can sleep. Don't you think that's a good idea? Good idea. Good idea. There must be something we can do to keep Animal quiet. Yeah, if only there was something that would put him to sleep. How about a sledgehammer? Hey, that's it. Uh, gee, Rolf, we don't even have a sledgehammer. No, not that. This. You're going to hit him with the piano? No, music. We'll sing him a lullaby. My puppy days. Ooh. All the boys and girls who used to scream and cry. Ooh. They just can't wait to get the day by. Mama reaches down to get a good night kiss. Well, what's too late? Oh. Getting around this door. Rocking the night away. 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 Rocking
start to slip up your shoes. Come on, you brush your teeth. And say you're afraid. And leave your kids behind you. Oh, wow. Officer Carruthers called again. He did? And he didn't sound very happy. He did? He said to tell you kids that he's not calling anymore. He's not? He said if you wake him up again, he'll just come over here and speak with you personally. Personally? Oh, no. So please try to be quiet, okay? Okay. That's better. I know. There's only one thing that will keep Animal quiet. Television. This is Clyde Crumpet with the morning news. Yesterday's South American earthquake... Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Daniel, the channel! Change the channel! Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Congratulations! You've just won a trip to New York City! New with another channel. Oh, boy, this is my favorite. Look, up in the clothes. It's a duck. It's a blimp. No, it's Super Gonzo. Gonzo? Gonzo, come back. Super Gonzo. Huh? Welcome to Muppet Tropolis. I'm Cluck Kent, ace reporter for the world's biggest newspaper. Tell you. Ah, 
magic rub it up, make a picture you'll treasure for years. It's Smurferific. It's Smurf magic rub it up, keep rubbing till a picture comes true. Oh no, it's kind of It's Smurf magic rub it up, Smurfing pictures is fun to do. Smurf Magic rub it ups from Hasbro Preschool. Ghostbuster Bulletin. Ghosts have been sighted. In the basement! Proton pack ready. Trap set. And with my new ghost never, all systems are go. Ah! Let's get them! Ah! Zap them! Nice hit! In the ghost trap. Ooh. For ghosts! Ghost never, nab them. Gotcha. Rock, lights on! Lights out. We ain't afraid no. Ah! New Ghost Snapper from the real Ghostbusters. Proton Pack and Ghost Trap each sold separately. Doyle was a high school star. Everybody thought he'd go real far. But he didn't get a thing from the classes he took. You know he just wasn't interested in his books. Amy was the smartest girl at school. Can you imagine? Oh, I just love Nick Maggers. He's so bloody. What'll it be, ladies? Uh, two bottles of Hola Cola and a large mozzarella pizza, please. And oh, the Scugglies. I've got a hot date later. Coming right up. It's about time, Earth Boy. One Alpha Special with extra three bats. What? What you doing? Hey, where's our Hola Cola? Zoo in here tonight. I know what you. Hey, Doyle. Hey, Milo. What are you standing around for? Pick him up. That's the face. Then. That's the way, boys. <laughs> Luigi Bacon, you take. Want something, mister? Pizza for my master. Uh, you come to the right place. <laughs> How much you like? A hundred should do. Large, of course. That's some more, then. Hey, hey, what do you like on top of them? The works. And make sure the green bats are still alive. So what do you want? And so what do you get? You want to wait or you want to come back? I am merely a hologram sent by my master. He wishes the pizza delivered. Hey, what's the address? Tremble Hall. Coordinates 858. Planet Tingling. <laughs> I like 
Late Show. Tingler. It's Tingler. Stupid Earth Boy. Everybody's heard of Tingler. It's a haunted planet, Earth Boy. Yeah, full of real weird thingy. Look who's talking. Nobody goes to Tingler, Earth Boy. Because those who do don't come back. Bleep. Bleep. <laughs> yeah. Don't listen to them, Doyle. Those are just stories. You calling us liars, Dweeby? Okay, okay, break them up. We got plenty of work to do. Hey, Milo, you started baking the pizzas. Doyle, energize the pizza shuttle. You're gonna make the delivery to Tingle. <laughs> Wait, I, 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 I can't make the delivery. I've got to leave early to uh, study for exams. But exams are five months away, aren't they? Considering Doyle's grades, five months study might not be enough. What's the matter, Earth Boy? You cackalac? I am not. What's a cackalac? Closest Earth equivalent is chicken. Doyle is not Cackalack. He'll make that delivery, right, Doyle? Yeah! Uh, Milo, do me a favor. Don't help me. <laughs> hey, let me talk to you a minute, Doyle. You see what that sign says? Luigi LaBouncy, pizza maker to the galaxy. That's right, pizza maker to the galaxy. You know why they call me that? Because for 20 years, my boys deliver any order anywhere. Else. That's why you gotta make this delivery. It's a matter of honor. Pizza's honor. Listen, I don't wanna send you there, but I got it. Think of my honor. Think of the money. Think of yourself. If you don't make the delivery, all the kids are gonna laugh on you, especially that Stramposo beef bank. Gavusha? Gavusha. That's my boy. Now get the shuttle ready. It's a long trip to Tingler. Doyle's going to Tingler? <laughs> what a guy. I never knew he was so brave. I guess the Earth Boys got more nerve than we thought of Beep. He must have the Lucas of a mocha. So what have you got to say now, Beef? Doyle's going to Tingler. Tell him, Amy. What's the matter, Beefy? Cat got your tongue? Or are you afraid to admit an Earth Boy's got more guts than you thought? So the Earth Boy's going to tingling. So what? He still sticks. Hey! Doyle's coming! Out of my way, Earth Boy! <laughs> oh, right. oh, yeah. I suppose I am. But after all, the pizza must go through. You better just hope those stories about Tingler being haunted aren't true. Oh, I'm sure they're just... Uh, what are we doing, Beef? Souping up the old Beefmobile sledge brain. How come? We're gonna get the Tingler before that stinking Earth Boy. And then we're gonna scare him so bad he won't make that delivery. I love it! I love it! Uh, but me, what about the real ghosts of monsters and weird thingies on Tingler? Those are just stories, Dimbo. But we're gonna make the Earth Boy believe they're true. You're still too wimpy. Give me a can of Zoom juice. Hey, B! <laughs> Me. It wasn't my fault, Beef! Hundred 
Pizza for a Planet the Tingler coming up. Take care of yourself, kiddo. And don't be afraid, Doyle. There probably aren't any monsters on Tingler, or ghosts, or weird thingies with great big fangs, or... He gets the message. Everything's ready, Doyle. You take care now. Don't uh, hang around. Just deliver the pizzas and get the money. Gavusha? Hey, the Earth Boy taking off. <laughs> Projector from Eisenstein's lab, like you said, Beef. Let's go. I think you zooped it up too much, Beef. The Beef is coming, Earth Boy! Planet Tingler, dead ahead. Oh, couldn't you put that another way? Sorry. Please program landing coordinates. Coordinates okay. Planet fall in 25 seconds. There he is. Give me your hole of projection, Roland. Make with this sound, Dale. The eyes. Now what? I can fix that for you, dude. Real reasonable. Huh? I said I could fix your wheels for you. My garage is just a few bleams away. Lucky for you, you crashed on the main drag. You mean you're a mechanic? Best one on Tingler. <laughs> Only one on Tingler, too. <laughs> Name's Muty. Give me two. Hi. What are we doing up in this tree, Beef? We're looking for that Earth boy, Jimbo. He couldn't have crashed too far from us. Ah, oh, oh, man, that's bad. Real bad. Ah, I can fix it like new. Cost you 50 creds in advance. All I got is 35. Ah, what the frats. You're my first customer in 10 years. I'll do it for 35 in advance. I can't see nothing in this stinking mist. <laughs> Rats! Ha! You stink! Oh, yeah? <laughs> Mutie, do you know where Tremble Hall is? I've got to deliver these pizzas there. You got a clutes? Your map machine's over there. Rumble Hall is right here. I should have your shuttle fixed by the time you get back. Hey, yo, knock it off, Murray. Can't you see they're only high school kids? I'm sorry, Beauty. Didn't know he was a friend of yours. I didn't know you knew them, Beauty. I'm sorry. Hey, no sweat. Hey, see you for poker Thursday. Hey, Beef, it's the pizza shuttle. 
Yeah, I'm fixing it up while the kid delivers his pizzas. Maybe he can fix your rod too, Beef. 50 creds in advance. Hey, where am I gonna get 50 creds? Yo, that's your problem. No cash, no repair. What are we gonna do now, Beef? I got no creds. I don't even have a wallet. The Earth Boy will have money once he delivers those pizzas. Hey, buddy, you know what Tremble Hall is? Yo, map's over there. One clute. I should have come back long before now. Hey, 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 Luigi, fix me a deep dish sarin style, will you? Yo, gang, what's the scoop? Doyle and Beef went to Tingler and they're not back yet. We're all very worried, I think. Tingler? Woo, woo, that joint gives me the leery deeries. Took a fair there once, only once. <laughs> I do not worry or fret, pretty Amy. Uh, Doyle will certainly show return, yes, he will. And if he's not you cook, you've always got Amy. Well, we just can't sit here. Doyle may be in trouble. But what can we do? We've got to go to Tingler. Ollie, you can get there faster than any of us. Will you take us? Eh, hey, what the France? I've been to Oyster Jerns. Okay, Amy, you get a ride. I guess I go straight ahead. It's way beef. This map stinks. Roland, you go left. I'll go right. Earl, up the middle. This one spots the earth creep, contacts the other. According to this map, I should be almost there. I've about had it with this haunted house planet. Next time you want more pizza, pick it up. Now, where's my money? The master will pay you. Follow me. I think we lost them. A beef. Ah! What do you think you're doing, Dimbo? I found the Earth Boy, Beef. He went into the creepy house. Yeah, show me. This way. <laughs> oh, rats! There's Tingler. Hold on to your relucas. <laughs> Good evening, young man. Welcome to Tremble Hall. If you'll follow me, I'll get your money. That must be the place. And I think I see a way in. 
You know, young man, you've made me and my guests very happy. I have? Indeed, as I'm sure you're about to see. <laughs> No one's ever been willing to deliver pizza here, and we do so enjoy it. Pizza, 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 pizza. Hey! That sounds like Doyle. Zoom it, Ollie! <laughs> All right, now let's settle down. There's plenty of pizza for everyone. But first, we must properly thank you. We got here just in time. Come on, Doyle. Hey, what's with you guys? Hold. Wait. 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 about this, Mr. Uh, Master. I guess my friends thought I might be in trouble. That's quite all right, young man. Everyone seems to be enjoying themselves anyway. Allow me to give you your money and a nice big tip. Gee, thanks. That kid's got the Relucas of a mocap. I, I gotta get a video of this. And anytime you need pizza, just give us a call. Excuse me, Master, but there are several more young people outside the hall. Show them to Ostrozinski. It's Beef and his bum friends. Let us hear them, Strazinski. You sure this is where he went, Al? I tell you, this is the place. But how do we get in? We don't. He's got to come out. And when he does, we scare him into giving us the cash so we can get my rod fixed. I love it! That rat! I bet he's the one who made me crash. Well, I'd sure like to teach him a lesson. If I can be of any help... I can't wait to see the Earth Boy's face. Hurry up, he's coming! Let's go, dude! Thank you. See you next time. Oh, no! A scary monster! Give us your money or meet your doom, Earth Boy. Oh, gosh! Please don't hurt me! And don't let your friends behind you hurt me, either! Friends? Behind me? You know, for a haunted planet, this place isn't too bad. Attention, attention, all students. Premiering tonight, that great classic, a visit to Tingler starring Beef Bonk and Bunch. You did good, Doyle. I'm proud of you. You had the pizzas on it. You know, Luigi, I think I understand that now. For I discovered that pizza is the cosmic glue that binds the galaxy together and makes monsters into friends. Oh, frats!
the Pee Wee store at J.C. Penney. Wow. With new Jumping Colors markers, you can draw a picture with the special markers. Then you can use the UC3D glasses that come in the box. And Jumping Colors, it turns 3D, almost jumps off the page. Another picture, use the UC3D glasses and Jumping Colors, it turns 3D. Oops. New Jumping Colors markers. Crayola, Crayola, jumps. Crayola. It's the incredible Crash Dummies! Yeah! Some days this job's hard to face! Now the Crash Dummies have a crash test center where slick, spin, and all the dummies face the ultimate test! Nice body slam! There's even a place to crunch your crash car! You guys really cracked me up! Don't you be a dummy! Buckle your safety belt! And leave the crash into us! The incredible Crash Dummies! Crash Test Center comes with everything shown! You put it together! are the tales of the skeleton warriors. to attract vermin, now would we? Hmm. Well, I am forced to admit your plan has eluded even me this time, Baron. To steal food and medicine, for which we skeleton warriors have no need, from people so primitive they still carve stone. Well, I don't see how this little outing will bring us any closer to recovering the Light Star Crystal. Oh, you will see, Doctor. You will see. <laughs> Had I known the world was like this, we would have weapons to fight with. <coughs> the world wasn't like this before. Father, there is only one way to save us. No! Baron Dark is dangerous. We have no other choice. I must go. Please, do nothing you'll regret, daughter. I'll return soon, and with your medicine. According to plan. Light start of base. I have an intruder. Mark it 32 minutes southwest. Order to identify not acknowledged. Will attempt intercept. Identify yourself.
Identify yourself. Uh... Sarah? Justin. Uh, well, hello. Is this how you welcome all your old girlfriends? Really, Justin, I'm fine, please. Zara, I didn't know it was you. You didn't acknowledge my signal. It's my fault. My cycle's old and my transmitter doesn't work. I'd heard about your safe camps, but I didn't know exactly where they were. I just heard an old friend had dropped by, literally. Zara, it's so good to see you. Jennifer, did, did, did you just fly in here? So then the rumors are true about everything, about luminosity, about Joshua. Until this whole nightmare's over, he prefers the name Grimskull. When Romney lost its power grid, we all assumed the worst. But even so, I couldn't believe the rumors about... about how Joshua had been... transformed. Zara. Help me, Justin. Baron Dark is in Romney. Since the loss of the Light Star Crystal, we had to close the gates to our village. Our only defenses were the old devices we had to protect us from windstorms. My father hated to do this. It goes against our nature. But the world is a dangerous place now. However, Baron Dark managed to find one among us he could bribe. The traitor was rewarded handsomely. They've stolen all of our food and medical supplies and have taken over the village. That monster! As you know, we have never been soldiers. I need to speak with Guardian, map out our attack. Talon, see to Zara's comfort, please. You're tired. We'll talk about it later. I was so sorry to hear about the King. Your father was a remarkable man. Thank you. He was. We'll attack quickly and strong. Sounds as if we easily outnumbered Baron Dark's warriors. Remember, our fighters are green, Lightstar. Talon, you'll take the east wall. Where is Grimskull? I'll see if I can find him. Do that, and remind my little brother we've got a real war on our hands. His presence would be deeply appreciated. Here I am. Well, it's about time. Uh, Grimskull, it's all right. A surprise guest flew in. Zara. Zara, here. There's no time to fill in the details. Dark has invaded Romney, and we're going to pull the welcome mat out from under him. I'll brief the squadron leaders. I don't want her to see me. She knows all about you, Joshua. Zara's your friend. Friend? Yes. I'm worried about Lightstar. He really loved her. It's not a good time for all that hurt to surface. It's never a good time for that kind of pain. <gasps> no. Joshua, no! We're in luck. The Weather Dome's online, but it must have suffered some damage when Dark attacked. There are places our sky cycles can squeeze through undetected. Hmm. Listen up, people. Once we're inside, keep your eyes open. There's no telling what kind of warm, wealthy Baron Dark has lined up for us. The welcoming committee. Grimskull, the East Quadrant's quiet. Maybe too quiet. We didn't even need our reinforcements. There weren't very many guards. The weather dome. <laughs> Set us up. Let me see what we're up against. Zara? I've always believed that everyone has a price, and lovely Zara's price was well within my budget. And now, the rest of the crystal, dear boy. Never! <laughs> Wouldn't want to catch your girlfriend in the crossfire, would you, light bulb?
Serafina. We're in real trouble here. The crystal. Now! Lightstar! We have to fall back! There are too many warriors coming! As you can see, it's simply a matter of time. <gasps> Zara! Zara! Talon, raise the weather dome! I'll try! It may be too weak to keep them out! Grim Skull, get the Baron! We have to help Talon with the weather dome. Now, what kind of person would do something like that? How could you do this? To us? Why? I'm sorry, but Baron Dark took all the food, all the medicine. My father's... There isn't enough power in Romney to synthecate his medication anymore, and he's sick. He, he's very sick. And Baron Dark promised to hand you the medicine your father needs if you handed us to Baron Dark. Do you think we're careless enough to carry our half of the Light Star Crystal around with us? I just did what Baron Dark required. I'm only trying to save my father. I can't believe you betrayed me again. Please, Light Star, Justin! Oh, Joshua, your brother will never forgive me. He might surprise you. Oh, Joshua. Joshua? Guardian, round up everyone that can swing a hammer. Let's see what kind of troops we have here. Justin, please, I just need to apologize to you, and then I'll leave you alone. Well, which mistake do you want to apologize for, setting us up or leaving me? I know I hurt you then, Justin, but if I had stayed, it would have been worse. I... I... I never could have served the people as queen. I'm not worthy of that. There was another way. If I weren't king... But you are. The people need you, Justin. You were born to lead. But Zara, I... I'm sorry, Justin. Maybe, maybe if things had been different... Lightstar, we need you at the bell tower. I'm on my way. I... I... I know. This is taking too long! Oh. Uh, too long! Uh, you're right! Leave them to me. I'll get that crystal. Yes, Shriek, of course. But I think we need another plan. That Zara girl was quick enough to betray Lightstar when her father's life was at stake. Yes, exactly. Now, what would it take for Lightstar to betray the others and hand over the crystal to me? It's time to show him just how far my reach extends. <laughs> There's nothing more I can do. We'll get the medicine. How? We can't leave Romney without letting the skeleton warriors in. We can get out. Dark doesn't know about this. The village is honeycombed with tunnels. Where does it lead? To the cliffs above the old quarry. That's where Baron Dark is. How do you know that? It's a gift. Let's go. Strong as it was. 
Strong enough, man. Heads up! Is that you just... Did you really think I didn't know about your little tunnels, my dear? It didn't work. They don't have the crystal with them. Of course not, but they can get it. I suppose it depends on how ill your father becomes. They're moving too slowly, your friends. It's time to raise the stakes. Father! No! Zara! Pass the word to the Legion of Lightweights. I want the crystal! Thomas, where are you? He has her. Baron Dark took Zara. What? Quickly, see if Lightstar and Grimskull have returned. I'll see to Damas. Oh, my Zara. Oh, my poor baby. Lightstar! Grimskull! It's Zara. You played into my little plan very well, Lightstar. As you spent your time rescuing supplies, we took the real prize. I've raised the stakes. Zara for the Crystal Light Star, or your precious little girlfriend will become your most bitter enemy. And if her heart isn't dark enough, then I'll think of something else. I'm nothing if not creative. <laughs> Stay with your troop leader. Damas, Zara will be better served if you rest. <laughs> Besides, Lightstar has his hands full turning a village of stonecutters into fighters. Let's not make his mission any harder than it is. Affected. Leave her alone, Dark! That gives me the chance to have some old-fashioned fun. No! Zara! It's Baron Dark. I have to help Lightstar and Zara. It's too late! The timers are already set! Zara! Justin, I... No, don't talk. Bye-bye, no! Grimskull, please get Zara out of here! Cyborg! Shriek! Get down here, now! What's that? I 
parting shot. Zara, I... Joshua, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. But I don't understand. I mean, I never understood. Why did you leave Lightstar? I couldn't marry one brother when I was in love with the other. You... you loved me? If only I had known, Zara. I felt the same for you. <sighs> My life would have been so different. The whole world expected me to marry him. <sighs> See, now you know why I had to leave. His life as our leader is challenge enough. I understand. Please, keep this as a memory of what might have been. We'll always be together in my heart, Joshua. Stored our supplies and trained our people. We'll never be at Doc's mercy again. We're all in this together. Somehow, someday, we'll get the other half of the crystal, and peace will be restored. In fact, it's time to go and make our plans to do just that. We have more fighters to train. Till the next time we meet. What happened to your heart? Oh, uh, I guess I lost it. One brother sacrifices his life to lead his people. Another sacrifices his heart. And yet, is it enough to bring peace to their world? Is anything enough in the face of ultimate darkness? Shipping and handling, see store for details. The Unitrons are preparing for a secret mission. The Spirius agent calls in his robots. Robot attack! Robot attack! Grab the Unitron! Oh no! Go for it! Not again! I'll go get it myself! Drop me, now! Okay, robots, take him! No, not me, you big clumsy monster! See you, Spirius! Today on BAD. 
Five people have disappeared inside Serene State Park, Louisiana, in the last three weeks. Taylor, Moose, recon the east shore. Sanderson, Marcus, survey to the north. Move out! Ranger Burdine! You radio that you'd had a new development. I better show you. In there, three quiet, one active. This could be our friend. Remember, we need it alive. <laughs> It is modern day folklore. To others, it is simply tabloid headlines. But to a select few, it is the ultimate reality. Intergalactic aliens have arrived on Earth. Now, they move among us. Only one top secret elite group of trained professionals has the ability to detect these extraterrestrial beings. B.A.D. The Bureau of Alien Detectors. Led by Squadron Leader Sergeant Ben Packer, military war hero, Special Agent Shane Sanderson, life science expert, Moose Tringanu, alien encounter survivor, Colin Marcus, computer specialist, and Casey Taylor, psychic communicator. Together, they have only one mission, to confront, control, and contain all alien encounters. Together, they are B.A.D., the Bureau of Alien Detectors. I'm Sergeant Ben Packer, leader of Team 22Z. As much as three quarters of planet Earth is covered in water. When detecting aliens, members of the Bureau can't afford to overlook this. An alien presence could be discovered where you least expect it. I remember one time this lesson was made very clear to the members of Team 22Z. <laughs> These buds are eating me alive. <laughs> That's because they go for sweet sugar. <laughs> what aren't you all telling me? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you guys. What's going on here? Never you mind. <laughs> Where'd you hide the bug spray, Mr. Louisiana Sportsman? It's over on the boat, city boy. <laughs> Take some light with you. Nah, I'll find it. Good docking job, y'all. Couple of real pros. <laughs> there goes staying dry. <laughs> <laughs> Dylan? Get real, Dylan. Dylan? Dylan? It just stopped being funny. If he jumps out and nails us, I'm gonna nail him. Shoes. He's out there playing Swamp Thing. Huh. <laughs> you gotta take a breath sometime. Perfect timing, Major V, as usual. Team 22C, we have a pressing situation. Three young people have disappeared inside Serene State Park, Louisiana. This occurred last night. A meteorite, as you know, hit the area recently. Any indications of alien involvement? We're not sure. The only witness reported seeing an attack by what he described as a swamp creature. Swamp creature or an alien creature? Sir, do we know if it's extraterrestrial in origin? It's your job to find out. B.A.D., you move out in two hours. Moose! Recon the East 
shore. Sanderson, Marcus, survey to the north. Move out! Ranger Burdeen? Sergeant uh, Pickford, is that right? Close enough. You radio that you'd add a new developer. Yeah, I think so. I better show you. There's dozens of these cabins around the lakes, and I pretty much know them all. How far do they go back? Not very. Some have underwater fishes that run out to the bay. said that ranger should make it. You saved his life, Sarge. Your full body combat suit saved your hide. Almost. <laughs> Looks like you had an unauthorized passenger. Whoa, the radiation from the intergalactic meteorite has affected this larva. Typically at pupil stage, feeding and locomotion cease, but this specimen appears to be growing at a high rate of speed. The growth of this larva is clearly being powered by an energy source. It must be the oil. Sarge, you said these things attack the ranger in a swarm, like killer bees? No, in a perfectly moving shape, like one creature. But insects don't do that. Yeah, well, these did. So what are we up against? Vampire worms that want to suck our blood? Sorry, Sarge. The ranger was full of blood, Colin. Whatever they're sucking, the brass want to watch. What? V says the boys in D.C. want him back alive for study. Not if I find him. We have our orders, Private. If those things get on me, I'm not stopping to put him in a jar. <laughs> Sarge, take a look at this. They're faint, but they could be human. Maybe four. Let's check it out. Together. I don't think I like this. I don't think you're supposed to. It's just that I hate bugs. In there, three quiet, one active. This could be our friend. Remember, we need it alive. That's not it, and those aren't people. The flies are just here for leftovers. It looks like the Sarge's hungry buddies here got first bite. Hold on, Shane! Oh. If the bosses wanted to study the gator, tell him I'm sorry. All right, Special Agents Marcus and Sanderson, cover the North Shore. Special Agent Taylor, Private Tranganu, take the Southeast. On it. I'm checking that West Shore Cove. I want constant contact, people. Use your headsets. No heroics. We still don't know how to fight this thing.
got a hot read. A small cave in Sector 7. Could be human. I'm going in. This is the end of the line. Whew. Hey, it's all right. We're going to get you out of here now. Here to help you. Now don't tell me you want to stay here all night. That's right. That's right. You're safe now. Listen up to me. I'm a young woman, about 18 years old, hypothermic, severe exposure. She's wearing a wetsuit. We must have saved her. Careful, Sarge. We're coming in with you. are we take it alive but first we have to get her out of here now just talk to headquarters dr faulkner says the medevac chopper's on its way sarge watching that creature take her cousin and two days alone in that cave i'm surprised she's made it this long Tell me something I want to hear, Sanderson. I don't think this is going to be it, Sarge. We've got some serious oil-eating mutates on our hands. Uh, you were right. I didn't want to hear that. Did you just say oil-eating mutates? But how on earth did they get in the water? Apparently, radiation from the intergalactic meteorite unleashed a strange species of larva with alien properties, which spread throughout the Gulf waters. And did it work? Well, as these alien microbes search for food, they were attracted to residue oil. The oil provides the only planetary energy source capable of fostering alien growth. You mean to tell me those little aliens will grow after eating oil? Sarge, you did say they totally trashed your swamp ski. You think for the oil in the engine? That'd be my bet. So they're going for the oily fat right under the skin. That'd explain the shriveled remains we found. Sarge, if oil gives them nourishment, what would stop them from multiplying? Man. Who knows how many aliens could be out there? Move it over here, Moose. We'll have maybe 15 seconds to snag that thing in the net. You can't use the comm sets with regulators in your mouth. Use the flare guns if you get into real trouble out there. Don't rip your wetsuits or they'll swarm you. And keep your face shields locked. Oh, I plan to. You ready?
down. Bring it back alive. Regarding the matter of Sergeant Benjamin Packard and his conduct at Serene Pass, Louisiana State Park, during which time he did knowingly disobey a direct order to procure the target and return with it unharmed, thereby destroying all chance for further study and analysis. It is the opinion of this Bureau that he be placed on disciplinary probation for a period of two weeks, and that a copy of this order be placed in his permanent record. This meeting is adjourned. Sarge, I I'm really sorry. This is all because of me. No, it's not, Private. But sir, don't they know that you saved my life? You did it to save me. Don't they know that? They know, Moose. He did it to save me. He did it to save me. To save me. To save me. I was proud of what I did as team leader and stung by the disciplinary action. But sometimes you have to listen to your own heart. Human life is more important than research. With the alien neutralized, we can only hope the danger was gone. We will continue to stand ready to detect and defend. We are BAD, the Bureau of Alien Detectors. Next time on BAD. ETA in three minutes, Faulkner. What are we flying into? A real mess, Ben. Project Crystal got hit about 0100 hours this morning by some kind of close encounter level three alien assault team. But I think we got lucky. It looks like our EBE escaped that alien assault, but where she is and how she's doing is anybody's guess. But there's a time factor here, Ben. Our friend must rendezvous with her mothership in six hours. Find her, Ben. Get her back to her mothership. I feel that she's not doing well. I I'm worried, Sarge. Special Agent Sanderson, you're the life science expert. Keep her alive. That's an order. I don't know if I can help her. We've got bogeys on our tail. You want a piece of this? Come and get it.
everything seems completely different to me today. City's got the star everyone's joking about. Well, it's two big nights of Pee Wee. Nice story. A movie? No, a pair of comedy adventures. A lot of things about me you don't know anything about. And things you wouldn't understand. <laughs> Stand up! <laughs> Best fight in the whole world. Congratulations to you, too. Pee-wee's Big Adventure, Tuesday at 8, and Big Top Pee-wee, Wednesday at 8. Primetime Pee-wee on City.
やめなさいよみっともない面白いぜ姉ちゃんもやれよ冗談じゃないわよこんにちは<笑>竹谷さんは出かけたわ特訓だってさレースが近いからねうん残念ディスコに誘おうと思ってきたのにディスコうん小林幸太郎が出てるのよ踊りながら取材しようと思ってね竹谷さんと<笑><笑>ここ宇宙科学研究所では政府機関の依頼を受け鉄銃示談を探り出すためにスペクトル硬派探知装置を密かに早乙女博士と村井所長が開発中であった早乙女博士を手に入れてやるさそら出ろサソラ行けうわあうわあつらいうわあうわあうわあうわあうわあうわあ悲鳴が聞こえたスパイダー感覚に感知あり南西三キロ君が噂のスパイダーマン己マシンベムお前の名はマシンベムサスワーだ行くぞありませんモンスター教授研究所襲撃は阻止されてしまいましたスパイダーマンのやつ何スパイダーマン村井社長と早乙女博士は必ず私目が息の根を止めてご覧に入れます始めろ<笑>フリフリ買って登りたくさんみたいにビル渡るかっこいいなスパイダーマン憧れちゃうみんなたわけた歌を聴いてる暇などございませんぞモンスター教授早くあの二人を始末せねばスペクトル硬派探知装置を完成されたら面倒です見よアマゾネスエルティーアンプの中にコモだけが嫌う超音波発生装置が仕掛けてあるのだわしの苦心の発明だこの者たちは<笑>サイボーグじゃよ本物そっくりに作ったな早乙女博士の屋敷から6キロ以内の場所に適当な店を見つけろこのバンドを出演させるのだ承知しましたここから発射されたスペクトル硬派がインベーダーに当たって跳ね返ると人間とは違う反応を示しますですからいくら鉄銃示談が人間に化けてもこのスペクトル硬派できっと判別できます素晴らしい装置だ一日も早く完成させてくださいあしかしここで作業を続けるのは危険です的を襲ってきますよ一刻も早く避難を
もぶら下がってんな何の意味んうわどうしたんだどうしたんだよ小太郎おいしっかりしろおいおいうわあっ彼らはサイボーグであるあらせよもう、えー、なうるせえな、うん、俺やだよ変な雲踊りなんかさスパイダーマンの歌がなぜ若者のハートを捉えるのか小林幸太郎に密着取材したいのよねえ協力頼むねっしょうがねえな<笑>行こうたぶんたつさんみたいにビルわたるかっこいいなスパイダーマン憧れちゃうみたいスパイダーマンそこでおいらの武器お尻ふりふり武器歌って踊ったブギブギスパイダーマンブギスパイダーマンブギどうしたのよウルサイヨトだなんともないのか君は別に頭が割れそうだタシヤさんどうしたの<笑>どうしたっていうの<笑>みんなにしない頭痛も消えた<笑>なぜどうしてあんなに頭痛が鉄十字団の襲撃を恐れた山城拓也は早乙女博士を宇宙科学研究所からこの屋敷へかくまった博士はスペクトル硬派探知装置の完成を急いでいたのである<笑>サウトメ博士の SOS 超短波だ。スパイダーマシン GP7。かかりますかねここが公爵ここが早乙女博士の屋敷だその距離は 5.5 キロところが超音波の有効距離は6キロある救出に駆けつけたとすれば必ず苦しみ出すスパイダーマンスパイダーマン出現ポイント3215東へ進行中ポイント3215か
超音波圏内に入った直ちに演奏を開始しよう了解ああ。とどめを刺すのださそら。逃げ。ああ、そうだったのか。スパイダー感覚を乱すために、モンスター教授が。残るは村井所長一人か。はい。でも草の根を分けても探し出して、もはやスパイダーマンも恐るるに足りません。何
村井所長がスペクトル硬派探知装置を完成させていた。君は動物の条件反射を利用されたんだ動物の条件反射例えば犬にベルを鳴らしてから餌を与え続けるするとその犬はベルを鳴らしただけで唾液を分泌するようになるそれと同じように君は同じ曲を聴いただけで条件反射を起こすようになるああああみたいにビル渡るかっこいいなスパイダーマンあこれだそこでオイラの武器お尻ふりふりふりふりふりふりふりふりふりふりふりふりふりふりふりふりふりふりふりふりふりふりふりふりふりふりふりふすべてグルだったのかスパイダーマン逃げるんだ逃げるんだそんなことをすれば所長の命がああ気が遠くないぞふりふり壁登りたくさんみたいにビルたるあの演奏を取らない限りどうしようもないぞ所長は地下室に隠れていてくださいそこでおいらもあの演奏を止めないとするとこんどこぞ一か八かやってみるしかありませんさあいかねば行かねばたのはスパイダーマン一人だ村井所長はどこかに隠れてるに違いない地下室がありますそこだここですさそら早く村井所長を片付けておしまい<笑>や,やめてやめて<笑>何だやめてやめて所長待て待て貴様降りてこい降りろスパイダーネットしまったビルの谷間暗闇ひっきらりと光る光の目スパイダーレオパルド
ルボンソードビッカー以上が残っとるらしいな<笑>そうでしたこれはただの放送でしたね鉄獣二段のヒット曲作戦はスパイダーマンを痛めつけただが不屈の闘志でこれに打ち勝ったのだ負けるなスパイダーマン闇深く響く地獄の足音模様の下眠る父よ胸に秘めた非常の定めさらば友よ誓いの友よ猫塚が荒らされたそこには若い娘を襲い生き血を吸ったという猫の骨が埋めてあったその魂が現代によみがえり呪わしい場面が次々に再現されていく次回世にも不思議な昔話「呪いの猫塚」どうぞお楽しみに
searching for a distant star, heading off to Iskandar, leaving all we love behind. Who knows what dangers we'll find? We must be strong and brave. Our home we've got to save. If we don't in just one year, Mother Earth will disappear. Fighting with the Gamelons, we won't stop until we won. Then we'll return, and when we arrive, the Earth will survive with our star blazers. I cannot bear to see what has become of Earth. Once green and growing with blue lakes and silver streams, great rivers and mighty seas, now all gone. Only day and burning desert left. Radiation everywhere. In the year 2199, planet Earth was facing extinction. In the mid-21st century, the mysterious planet Gamelon, a planet outside our solar system, declared war on all of Earth. These evil marauders of space, known for their ruthless warfare throughout the galaxies, began to bombard Earth with their deadly planet bombs. The surface of the Earth became unlivable. People could only survive by moving to underground cities far below the Earth's surface. There was no defense against the bombing. The nations of the world fought as one against the Gamelons, but one by one, Earth's space fleets were defeated. The Gamelons demanded total surrender, but the Earth Defense Command refused. So the Gamelons continued their attack. And now another danger looms. The deadly radiation pollution caused by the bombs covers the Earth. And soon, even the underground cities will no longer be safe, as day by day, the radiation sinks deeper into the Earth. Earth is now hopelessly contaminated. In a year's time, all life on Earth will be extinct. Now, one last desperate battle between the Earth defense fleet and the Gamelons is being fought near the planet Pluto. Earth has only one space battleship left, commanded by Captain Avatar. This battleship alone against such an evil as the Gamelons. We stand between them and Earth. We must prevail. We are Earth's last defense. Here at Pluto, we must make our stand. Radar contact, approaching target, identified as Gamelon Force. Enemy position at 3 o'clock, distance 10,000 megameters from Pluto. Speed, 27 space knots. Six space battleships, eight destroyers, and many escort ships. Confirm Gamelon fleet at 11 o'clock, distance 2,500 megameters. Take battle station. 30 degrees to starboard, artillery stand by. A message from the Gamelon ship, sir. Earth fleet, we advise you to surrender now. What shall I tell them? Tell them they're idiots. What? I said idiots. This is the Earth flagship 225. Our answer, idiots. Over. Target, right, plus four. Correction, 22. Second turret aberration, zero six. Those are Gamelon ships, men. Aim carefully. Fire! The stern is damaged. Spare oxygen tanks leaking. Laser guns damaged.
We're outnumbered five to one. Unidentified spaceship. It's not a Gamelon. At that speed, it has to be from outside our solar system. And it's on a collision course with Mars. At Earth's underground defense headquarters, news of the mysterious spaceship is received. It's going to land at the polar cap zone B by the frozen cliff. Is there any observation staff on Mars now? Yes, sir. Cadets Derek Wildstar and Mark Venture. They can check out that strange spacecraft. Good. Give them the order. Oh, so that's what hit us. There's a battle going on near Pluto. Maybe one of the ships crash-landed on Mars. Here. Ugh! I think we're too far away from Pluto for that to happen. Hey, Venture, look. It's not Gamelon's and it's not ours. It's got to be from some other planet. Let's land. We can't see anything from here. Take it easy, Wildstar. I've never seen anything like this. I wonder where it's from. Any sign of the pilot? Nothing in here. There's no insignia. There's no identification at all. Hey, Venture, look over here. Is she? I think so. She's beautiful. Yes, she was. It must have been very important to her. Who is she? Where is she from? She must be from some unknown planet. Speed difference plus two. We're on target. Missile ready. Fire! This is Missile Ship 17. Destroyed one Gamelon battleship. This is Missile Ship 17, Captain Alex Wildstar. That's Captain Avatar's ship. It's badly damaged. Captain! I'm all right. Our laser ship exploded. Tell me, how many ships do we have left now? Only one missile ship, other than this flagship, sir. Which one? Number 17, Wildstar ship. I see. This is enough. We're going home. Captain, are we retreating? We've done all we can. There will be other battles to fight. Wildstar, do you hear? Follow me. Sure, Captain. I'll bring up the rear. You're unprotected. See you later. Wildstar, we're going back together. I don't need or want your protection, but planet Earth does. There's nothing to be gained by your staying behind. You're needed on Earth. That's an order I expect you to obey. It's just a simple matter of mathematics, sir. There are 470 men in your flagship. There are 20 in our ship. You'll get back. We'll see to it. Wildstar, it's an order! 180 degree turn completed, Captain!
Captain, Wildstar isn't following us. Wildstar! Can't talk now, Captain. There's a bunch of Gamelons coming at us. Don't worry, I'll get them away from the flagship and I'll see you on Earth. Good luck, Alex Wildstar. Secure the Mars Observatory and return to Earth by docking in the returning Pluto battleship. Roger. We're all ready to go, sir. Captain Avatar's battleship will be on the Mars orbit in three hours. He's expecting you. As soon as you get to Earth, deliver any information found in the spacecraft to the commander's office. The Mars search boat is approaching. Reception airlock open. Venture, I don't see any other ships in here. We're the only one. My brother Alex's ship should be in here. There must be a way to defeat this evil. Earth cannot die this way. Man was not created to live in terror, hiding beneath the earth. As long as I live, I will fight. This whole area used to be a beautiful lake. In the short time we've been on Mars, radioactivity from the planet bombs has seeped deep into Earth. At that rate, in a year, Earth will be unlivable even underground. About your brother, Alex. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Captain? I am Derek Wildstar. Then you're... Alex's younger brother. Yes, I see. He was brave. He stayed behind to fight a delaying action. If he hadn't held the enemy back, we wouldn't have made it back to Earth. You left him behind. He chose to stay. Alex was in your command, Captain. You could have ordered him back. I'm truly sorry, Wildstar. What Alex did was very brave. He saved the lives of many men. I heard Captain Avatar was badly wounded on Pluto. At least he got back, wounded or not, but Alex... So this is the message capsule. We'll have it analyzed. Please report all the other data on the crash to the Interspace Committee. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.
Where did she come from? This is the medical wing. Maybe she's a nurse. <laughs> Fellows, I could use some help here. Give me a hand. Come on, you pig-headed porker. It's time for your dinner. Come on. What's the name of the nurse who just walked down the hall? Oh, you young fellows don't miss a trick, do you? That was Nova, best nurse I've got. Hey, give me a hand, will you? If you're so hungry, come on, dinner's in here. Well, what's this handy gadget? I am IQ-9. I am not a gadget. I am a genius robot. And who is that gentleman with the pig? That's Dr. Sane. He's a little eccentric, about five degrees. He has all kinds of pets, including pigs. He says they are intelligent. I doubt it. Not the way I compute intelligence. Now it's time for my lunch. Sorry, Doctor. The cafeteria just ran out of lunch. <laughs> Who are you? See you later, Doc. Hello, this is Avatar. Earth headquarters? All right. You've analyzed the message? Let's hear what's going on. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. What's wrong with your friend? He looks a little pale. Maybe some time in the sunroom. It will take more than that, I'm afraid. He lost his only brother in the battle near Pluto. Oh, I'm sorry. I have gathered some information. It is for you two men. The woman is not included. I know when I'm not wanted. That was very rude. Do not be upset. I have not yet been programmed to be polite. The message capsule you brought back from Mars has been analyzed. I am Starsha of Planet Iskandar. When and if my sister Astra arrives safely with this message to planet Earth, come to Iskandar. You have only one year left before the total extinction of all life on Earth. I have sent you plans for a wave motion engine so you can make the long journey to Iskandar. When you get here, we will give you the Cosmo DNA. This will remove the radioactivity from Earth and is the only thing that can save you. I wish we could get the Cosmo DNA to you ourselves, but we cannot. Then follow the plans for the wave motion engine. It will get you to Iskandar. We are located 148,000 light years beyond the galactic system. You must reach Iskandar in time to save Earth. I am Starsha of planet Iskandar. That's the engine plan. Avatar, do you think it can really work, this new engine plan? Well, Commander, we won't know until we try it. Yes. Do you think we can believe Starsha? We have to believe her, but it's 148,000 light years away. No one has ever gone that far out into space, Avatar. Emergency alert! A Gamelon plane approaching sight of the sunken battleship, the Amato. Come on, let's take on this mission, Venture. I can't stand this waiting around. Alex and I were going to take some leave together, but now... Come on, let's go take care of it ourselves. Well, there's nobody else around. Hey, come on, you guys! You're not cleared to take off! Let's go, Venture. Here we go. I wonder what's so important about an old sunken battleship. Hmm, I remember hearing about the Yamato. It was a great old battleship sunk centuries ago. Just scrapped now. Hey, shouldn't we be over Eastern Sea by now? Hey, we've got something on the radar. Yeah, there he is. I'll get him. He's at 9 o'clock, Wildstar. Ah. He'll get away. Our engine's overheating. Oh, no, this pilot junk. <sighs> oh, are you all right, Venture? Yeah, I think so. What about you? 
What lousy luck. If this bucket of bolts had just held together another minute. We're going to get him when we get back. Why did the Gamelon send a patrol plane to a place like this, way out here? Wow! What? Is that the Yamato? It's nothing but a pile of scrap metal. Why is Gamelon interested in it? They sent a plane to check it out. I wonder. Do you suppose there's some secret? At one time, the Yamato was a great battleship. It fought nobly into the end. While rust and decay have taken away her once sleek beauty, the legend remains bright. A legend of bravery and sacrifice. Now, just as the ancient ship appears again, a legend will come alive again. A legend and a ship that will save Earth. Saber Rider delivers a lesson in trick shooting. It all happens here on Saber Rider and the Star Sheriff. Outrider Bandits will strike. A constant vigil is kept throughout our galaxy from strategically placed frontier outposts. These patrols report directly to Cavalry Command, home base of Saber Rider and the Star Sheriffs. How's it looking out there, Shades? All's quiet on the range. Nothing ever happens way out here. Yeah what? We got us some action there. Let's take a look at the range scanner. Oh, it's an Outrider raid. I know it. <laughs> Sorry, partner. Just a meteor shower. Shucks. The Outriders must be dimension jumping on some other planet. 
Oh man, I'd love to tangle with him just once. <laughs> if the star sheriffs need help, I'll give them your number, Chubbs. <laughs> It's a fine piece of machinery. The greatest. And I've driven some of the best racers in the world. Nothing handles like this, Philly. Ramrod's not a Philly. It's a high-tech defense system. Got it? But I happen to like Phillies. They're present company included. Oh, grow up. <laughs> We've got some serious trouble doing, Colt. I've just received an urgent message to proceed to Cavalry Sector 412 right away. You'd better tell Commander Eagle. He's your father. All right, okay. Wait a minute, Sector 412? Do you know where that is? I'm checking on that right now. Well, I can save you the trouble. It's the Black Hills of Planet Dakota. The place is full of silver mines. Maybe I'll make some bucks while we're there. We're Star Sheriff. She may not indulge your personal greed. Yeah, it'll take a bigger man than you to tell me what to do. Oh, uh, how much bigger? <sighs> If you'd rather stay behind, I'm sure we could handle this mission without you. I'm sure you couldn't, race boy. Anyway, I'm coming. <sighs> I'm not really sure if that's good news or bad news. Come on, mates. We've got to move fast. Fast is fine with me. Fast you want, fast you get. Making approach to Dakota. Now you're gonna see some pretty country. There's the hills. It's Dakota, all right. Let's get a closer look. Hmm. I've got some strange data. Could be the silver in those hills. Maybe. There's no maybe about it. I'm telling you, we could all get rich. You've always got some way we could all get rich. Why don't we all get to work? Activate the Maverick Rangefinder. You got it! Ready for touchdown, Top Sword. Right. Let's do it. First thing, let's run a check. Yes, I'm definitely picking something up. We'd better be very cautious. I'll keep my eyes peeled. Buckos, you're worrying about nothing. It's deserted. If it's so deserted, then where are all those signals coming from? You're too scientific, April. Why, that's just the silver in those hills saying howdy. Ah, robot wrangler. It's an outfighter raid. Get down. Well, they're coming back for more, are they? Toward the Black Hills. Right. Stallion power. Oh. Say, you're picking up the wrong cowboy. I've never lost an outlaw. And I'm not starting with you. Your dimension jumping days are numbered. Mister? 
Cuts the handle. You could thank me for saving you from that outrider. Now, I better take you back to the ship. I don't care what you do. I'm telling you nothing. Oh, come on. We're amigos. Friends. Don't be afraid. We're the Star Sheriffs from Cavalry Command. We just want to be friends, okay? Yeah, I'd say we're out after the same thing. To send those robot wranglers back to their own dimension. Fireball, you're gonna scare him talking about Outriders. Now, my name's April. What's yours? Come on. I'm Hoyt. All right, Hoyt. Now, where's your family? I haven't got a family anymore, thanks to the Outriders. What happened? I don't know if I ought to say. You can tell us, partner. We're listening, Hoyt. One day, those varmints made a surprise attack on my town. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no. The people were forced into outrider ships. They took them to work in the silver mines. They found me. I called for help. My parents tried to stop them, but it was too late. That was the last time I saw them. I got away, but the others are still in the mine. Oh, Hoyt. Well, that's a tough one, kid. I know how you feel. I've been there myself. But hey, cheer up, buckaroo. You won't have to fight them alone. Not anymore. We're riding with you. Mean it? Are you really going to help me? Yeah. Because I know where the Outrider Mines are. Are you sure, kid? You know where they're keeping the folks from your town? Uh-huh. But I don't know if I can find my mom and dad. We'll all keep our fingers crossed. All we need is a good guide. Can you lead the way, Hoyt? You bet. I guess we've got a new scout, eh, hey, Saber Rider? How lucky for us. All right, then. Let's go. All right, partner. We're ready when you are. of a security system. Yep, Gatler knows everything that goes on around here. Yeah, we'll be far outnumbered. Our only chance will be a surprise attack. The prisoners are weak, Gatler. Work them harder. This mission must not fail. We need more silver. Oh, as you wish, Gatler. OK, time to slide. <laughs> This mine must be the major source of their silver supply. Gatler's not going to be happy when we cut them off with the pass. Well, shall we explore this little hole in the ground? Uh -huh. Yeah, sure. Well, come on. What are we waiting for? Let's go. working in? Level four. Okay, Junior Star Sheriff, are you ready to do it? Yeah, let's wrangle with those vapor bushwhackers. We'll try. Right. Intruders. <laughs> Someone's broken through our security. Things are not quiet, don't you think? Too quiet. Keep your eyes peeled. Take your mind. Ooh. Saber, you're the only one that can pull us out of this. All right, chums. Good afternoon, chums. Sorry, chums. We don't want to leave you out of the fun. Step aside, Saber. There's the entrance. Right behind you, bucko. All those folks are counting on me, Cold. We gotta rescue them. Well, they're counting on the right fella. You brought him the Star Sheriffs. You're a brave boy. Is a Star Sheriff ever scared, Cole? Nah, just cautious. Saber 
Reiner. We have got to get those people out of here, and in a hurry. My sentiments exactly. Cover me! Are you brave? Are you okay? Yeah, Colt's inside. He's gonna need some backup. He's got it. If they dare to come in here, it'll be the Star Sheriff's last stand. <laughs> Star Sheriff's Gatler, or you'll be doing the mining yourself. Hang in there, Coach. We're on our way. This one's mine. Be my guest. You're leaving on this dimension, bud. Excuse me. Certainly. That's cold. Listen, everybody. Run. 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 Right, next time we wear bells. All right, now let's get these folks to safety. Okay, folks, you ready? Let's go! Let's go. Gatler and his men used that train to take the silver out of the mine. It's just what we need. Thanks for the nifty transportation, Gatler. Stop them, Gatler. They won't get away from me, Nemesis. got these star sheriffs where I want them. Are you watching on my monitor, Nemesis? I'm going to give them a little surprise. A very wet surprise. <laughs> that Rattler Gatler's flooding the cave! We need help. Oh, the water has interrupted the transmission. That's comforting. Howdy! Hoyt! <laughs> Taking time out for a little swim? Follow me. I'll show you the way out. There is no way out. Not for you. A renegade unit. Hoyt, help the people take cover and lay low until this is over. Okay. April here. Fireball? Yeah, we need your help here. Pronto. On my way. I'm about ready to tie this one up. A tip-top idea. Move out! Money! 
Samrod will now take navigational control. Acknowledge, April. Navigational control on. Ramrod challenge phase one. Head em up, move em out. Power stride and ready to ride. like a champ. Yep. We're all sure gonna miss you, little buckaroo. It's been great having you around. You take care now. That goes for me too, Hoyt. You're a real hero. Hoyt's got some good news too. Tell him, Hoyt. I found my mom and dad. They escaped with the others. You're a lucky boy. I love happy endings.
マルチ戦隊どうかなまた俺の足を引っ張られちゃかなわんからな,なんだぞ貴様たちのノータリンさは宇宙のように無限だからなノータリン<笑>無限のノータリンだどういう意味でやめんかバカ者<笑>くだらん喧嘩をするために集めたのではないそうだそうですよね大帝様これはエネルギーを奪うための重要な作戦だこのためジャルガーキルバイソンドリルホーンが参加する作戦の手順を忘れないようによく引いていろ目標はこのエネルギーコンビナートだまず雷竜が港のタンカーを沈め港の出入り口を封鎖する同時に翼竜が上空から爆撃地上の人間たちを上空から制圧その間に他の恐竜戦隊たちは海中から上陸しサイバトロンたちに備えるそして俺たちはコンビナートの周辺でサイバトロンを待ち伏せする奴らが出てきたところを一気にやっつけるんだああなるほどねそっかただしコンビナートの中央にあるエネルギー生成塔とタンクは破壊するな他の設備がそっくり手に入っても無駄になるし修理も難しいそんなのエネルギーだけぶんどればいいじゃねえかわからんのかこのコンビナートには我々が5年間戦い続けることができるエネルギーが集まっているこれを根こそぎ奪えば俺たちはサイバトロンに対して有利に戦うことができるのだそうですよね大帝様うんその通りだはっ<笑>戦いにそろばん感情は合わねえぜグダグダとうるさいやつだ文句のあるやつはぶちのめしてやるぜ頭の悪いやつらだ<笑><笑>気取りやがって動いたろでもどうしてなのこれはねてこの原理なんだ小さな力で大きなものを動かしてしまうのさへえ何をしてるんだいウィングウェーバーたちにてこの原理を教えてもらってたんだそうかしっかり勉強するんだぞところでウィングウェーバー君はマッハタックルとダッシュタッカーを連れてパトロールに出てくれはい総司令官デストロンもついに地球に上陸したそこでこれからはパトロールを強化していかなければならないはい頼むぞねえウィングエヴァーパトロールに連れてってよえこの12番ポンプの具合がどうも良くないんだおそらく圧力が足りないんだと思うがそれじゃあ4番に切り替えて調子を見ようバイパスすると強度に無理があるからなおいけないミルクの時間だちょっと頼むよああ愛する子犬ちゃんに俺からよろしくと伝えておいてくれ<笑>待ってたかよしよしよかったな元気になってたくさん飲んで早く大きくなるぞなんだ新たにデスナラスの下に着いたジャルガードリルホーンキルバイソンは恐竜戦隊を従え今エネルギーコンビナートを乗っ取ろうとしていた野郎ども恐竜戦隊のリーダーは誰だ、えーよしそれじゃあパーティーを追っ始めるぜえい、ー、うわーかっこいいな
ジャーン自分はスターセーバー総司令官からパトロールするように命令されているあまり遊んではいられないんだよねえじゃあ最後に宙返りして見せてよ宙返り本当に最後だよやったやっほーキャプテンもジャンにあっちゃ肩なしだな宇宙での戦いがまるで嘘のようだこんな平和が続くといいんだがお降りてくるぞ今度は暇な時にしてくれよ今はねパトロールをなんだあれはやれやれみんなぶっ壊せエネルギーを奪いつくせあんまりぶっ壊すぞ<笑>うるせえ誰の命令だ俺様はな俺様はな俺様はリーダーなんだぞ一気にマルチオンこいつはひでえや。来てねよーし驚かしてやるぞうわうわじゃあ大丈夫かこのくらい平気だよえっえっえっえっタッカーマハタックル君たちはコンビナートのデストロンをやっつけろ自分は抑留を追う任しとけそれからじゃあ君は危ないから離れているんだぞいいねうん分かった<笑>俺様にドラムガンをぶつけるやつはどこのドイツで。レストランのあるところ、必ず現れ追い払う。な、なに。ま、はたくるとは、俺のことさ。かっこつけすぎだぜ。おのれサイバトロンところで隊長ブレストホースたちはどうしたんでしょうねブレストホースなんか必要はねえ俺を誰だと思ってるやろうどもかがりあれだけではじゃあどうやらサイバトロン側との戦闘が始まったようだ早くサイバトロンの奴らをぶちのめそうぜ待つんだ奴らの動きが鈍くなったところで一気に型をつけるそうすれば苦労しなくてもエネルギーは手に入るそれもそうだ<笑>いつまで逃げられるかな宇宙船で俺に勝とうなんて10万年早いんだよそろそろ蹴りをつけなくてはそうだ逃げるなんて無理無理いつまでバカみたいに登ってたよ今だトランスフォームし,しまった落ちろいやトランスフォーム遅くなったどうもじゃあおされ気味だぜどうするキャプテンやるしかない自分たちの働きを認めてもらうためになんとか切り抜けるんだめんどくせえあいつらを一気に潰してやるやろうども合体だトランスアウトトランスアウトトランスアウトトランスアウト合体大のキー<笑>どうだサイバトロンども俺様が叩き潰してやる<笑>こんな奴らは俺様
一人で十分だぜ出したかマハッタ君集中攻撃だおっ<笑>暗いおおおあ大変なことになってきた大変だよエネルギーコンビナートでデストロン頑張れてるんだなんだって今ウィングエヴァンたちが戦ってるんだけど早く応援に来てよそんな報告受けてないぞえー、そんなよしサイバトロン出動だサイバトロン側の通信をキャッチした奴らが来るぞよーしいよいよ俺たちの力を見せてやるんだヤルガーとキグバイソンはここに残ってサイバトロンを攻撃するんだドリルホーンお前は俺と一緒に来いラスポーンラスポーンこのままじゃウィングウェーバーたちが危ないいいんじゃないかこのままじゃよし合体するぞトランスフォームダイノキング何をやっているんだ合体あ我々の目的は破壊することではないレオドックかふざけるなお前に差し支える覚えはねえトランスフォームダイノキング我々に逆らうのかトランスフォームダイノキングもうよいお前たちは下がっていろよし今のうちに合体するぞおっラスポーガッタイランドクロスおおし,しまったコイ今度は簡単にはやられないぞおのれ生意気な口を叩き打ってその坊やは僕はじゃんおじさんたちは俺たちはここで働いてんのさデストロンが来た時逃げ遅れたんだうわこのまま死んじまうのかそんなことないよスターセーバーが来てくれる、はい、早く来てスターセーバースターセーバーだフランスフォーあれお前どこから入ってきたのあ,あ罪じゃないかああそうだどうしたんだい何かあったのおいまさかおのれ
Está cima. キルバイソンたちは逃げ去りました。そうか、ご苦労。ランドクロス、これからは何かあったらすぐに連絡するんだ。見たまえ、このコンビナート。はい。よし。さあ、消化を手伝おう。わかりました。ありがとう。お前は
じじふいなふい」「すたあせいばもうしんぼうですか」「つまみくいしたことありますか」「おねしょしてしかられましたか」「ぼくたちみたいなとでしたか」サザンクロスの勇者たちプラモデルで登場紀元2010年惑星グロリエで何が起こったか15部隊のエンブレムその名誉にかけて戦う超時空機団サザンクロス今一堂に勢ぞろい対抗するゾル軍バイオロイド今井のプラモデルサザンクロス今アメリカで人気沸騰のチクタクバンバンが野村遠いから出たよチクタクがパズルに挑戦チクタクが進むプレートをバンバン作っていこう脱線すると負ける頭脳ゲームだチクタクは切り替えでスピードアップするとさらにアクションアップみんなで楽しめるナウなゲームチクタクバンバンプレートの先の先を読めパズルでゲームだ野村遠いのチクタクバンバンこの世界の
right there. <gasps> hey! Don't move. <gasps> now slowly put your weapons down and surrender. <laughs> All this bother just to rescue a coward and a traitor. No! Well, this is what's left of your commander. This man will never fight again. He will never ride a horse nor hold a sword again. Why, he can't even stand on his own two feet. I certainly hope you didn't think this cripple could ever lead you again. The band of the hawk is dead. Rest in peace. Archers! <laughs> No, I don't believe it. All that bullshit about Griffith and the Band of the Hawk. <laughs> Damn you! I'll ask him myself. I wouldn't do that. Why the hell not? Because he no longer has the ability to speak. What? <laughs> Judo come off it. So his throat got a little dry living in prison. I'll just get him a drink and we can... This was supposed to be our new beginning. Weren't we going to make a fresh start after we rescued Griffith? Wasn't that it? For a goddamn year now, we've lived like rats. The lucky ones, of course. The other half are dead. But have faith, they said. Once Griffith is back, he will lead us to glory. Bullshit! <laughs> you know, I had a feeling it would turn out like this. That something like this might happen. But even so, I did hope. What are we gonna do? I don't understand. What are we supposed to do now? It's not as if the Band of the Hawk has been completely annihilated. We still have you to lead us, Casca. Griffith is still our leader. You haven't suddenly forgotten that, have you? Of course I haven't, but still... This past year has been harder on Casca than it has been for anyone else. So don't make it any worse. I'm sorry, but what are we supposed to do? Please! I know this is hard on everyone. But there is still some time before the others join us. Let me think this over until then. Kaska, wait. What is there to think over? What are you planning? Don't tell me you're thinking of staying Guts, what was it that you were going to say back there? Just that you should finish what you have begun. To make good on your promise. You're so strong, aren't you? Of course. Finish what you have begun. Make good on your promise. It's so simple. Now try and say that to Griffith. <laughs> Everyone is weak. That's why we cling to one another. 
to our dreams, to a word of comfort, to a strict command. I yearned for someone to be close to for so long. Well, I'd better go and check on Griffith. Griffith, let's change your bandages. Whether it's a good dream, or a bad one for that matter, no one feels good when you wake up in the middle of one. <laughs> so, what are you going to do now? Travel? Fight? I guess. And you? I don't know. Gather up whoever stays behind. Maybe put together a band of thieves. We should be able to scrape enough together to take pretty good care of Griffith. I'll come too. You're free from all this, remember? You have no further obligation to the Hawks. I know that I don't. But you think you do? <laughs> well, yeah. I'll always be a Hawk. But you, you're different. You've already begun on a different journey, fighting your own battles. If a man can no longer stand, leave him behind. That's the rule, isn't it? I just can't do it this time. Now, Casca, she's a different story altogether. She's entirely too noble to run with a bunch of stinking bandits. I can't be a thief and have a conscience. It won't work. I mean it. Take her with you. Drag her if you have to. Commander! Commander Guts! Say, you weren't planning on leaving without saying goodbye again now, were you? Because if that's the case, we all decided that we're coming with you. And there's nothing you can do about it. It was a unanimous decision. All of you? As long as you're leading us, we know we can make it. Please take us with you. Commander! Commander! Yeah, take, us take us with you, Commander! Yeah, take us with you, Commander! Perhaps... This is what I was looking for my whole life. I didn't realize it until this very moment. But everything I wanted back then is right here before me now. Why don't I ever realize what I have until it's lost to me? Griffith's hands. I never realized how small they were. He tried to grasp everything with those two hands. Just by placing his hand on my shoulder, my fears would subside. He saved me time after time. Now, I must do the same for him. I, uh... uh I... <gasps> Sorry, I have to get more bandages. I... Uh, uh... Griffith! What are you... Hey. How's Griffith? He just fell asleep. Huh? Is something wrong? No, nothing's wrong. Tell me, what the hell is going on? Nothing! I told you, it's nothing! So then why are you crying? Did something happen to Griffith? No, wait! I... Stop it! It's not that! Casca.
I can't leave him behind. Not like he is now. I'm so sorry. Don't be. I'll stay too. You have your own battle to fight, remember? You said you were finished fulfilling other people's dreams. So you must go. If you truly consider yourself Griffith's friend, then you must leave. Even if you're alone. What are you doing here, trembling and afraid? I'll go after him. We've got to catch him. Go tell the others. Move it! I've rested too long. It's not over yet. Not until I reach the end of that cobblestone path. ready oh were you sleeping i'm sorry dear but we really do need to get some air in here where am i why are you staring at me like that is there something on my face you were dreaming about the old days again weren't you i see a dream it has been a while since any of them came by to see us i wonder what they're all up to these days I wonder if that man is still swinging that big sword around somewhere. So many adventures, so many friends. The past all seems like one big dream now, doesn't it? <coughs> hey, Guts, leave Pippin alone and go wash your hands! Yes, Mother! Many things have happened, but they're all distant memories now. I think I'm much more suited to this lifestyle. My life with you and our beautiful boy. Just the three of us. Well then, my life will be a peaceful one.
its name is Baelit, or Egg of the King. He who possesses it shall conquer the world in exchange for his flesh and blood. In exchange for his flesh and blood. Griffith, was it really me? Did I drive you to this? Am I responsible for what you have become? What should I do? What would you have me do? What can I do for you now? What's that? What the... The solar eclipse. Much as touch my shoulder. I'll never be able to. You and I will never be. final destination is darkness, and waiting for them is despair. They will be swarmed by betrayal, confusion, lamentation, fear, and in the end all that will be left is the purest dream. Mazi, Mazi, Maziro! 
マージホンで変身だマージマージマージマジスティック四つのモードで戦えジーマジかマジか君も手にしろマジの力君の呪文を作り出せマジ,マージホンマジスティックバトルセット魔法大変身マジマジマジかマジマジマジジルマジンガマリュウガッタイマジドラゴンマジジルママジジンガ魔人の王へを降臨せよ魔人合体デラックスマジキング時に西暦1600年9月15日日本の覇権を争う豊臣と徳川の二大勢力が関ヶ原で激突した石田三成率いる西軍8万4千徳川家康率いる東軍7万4千八8時間に及ぶ壮絶な戦闘の末圧倒的に有利と言われた西軍は相次ぐ味方の裏切りにより総崩れとなって敗走した。この配送者の中にキリシタン大名小西行長がいたキリシタンの競技により自害できなかった行長は伊吹山中に逃れたが4日後捕らえられ大阪堺を引き回され京都六条河原で処刑された主君行長の無念の最後を知ったその部下森総意見ら数名は徳川の追撃を逃れ決起の時を待って九州へ潜伏した。一方徳川家康は日本を統一着々と幕藩体制を固めその勢力は揺るぎないものとなったそんな中幕府支配体制を脅かすものとして1613年にキリスト教禁止令が出され多くの宣教師が追放されたその中の一人天草にいたある宣教師が「末鏡」という予言の書を書き記したこれから二十数年後空が焼け飢饉が起こる時神の子天使が生まれる彼はデウスと呼ばれ十字架を掲げ人々を救うであろうだがその末かがみには隠された一節があったもし天使がデウスとしての道を断たれたなら天使はサタンとしてよみがえるであろうというものであった
子供かどうせそこらのキリシタンのガキじゃしかし奴らどこかに隠れとるないかがいたしましょう噂通りこの辺りはキリシタンどもが大勢いそうだなよし長崎奉行殿にお知らせして改めて出直しじゃ泣いてるのお嬢ちゃんシロシロシロよかったシロデウス様のおかげじゃ
今宵も憎き徳川の兵どもを退けることはできた。これも人へに皆の新人深さゆえである。我らは偉大なるキリシタンの神、ゼウス様によって守られているのだ。その御子である、シロウ様の追わす限り、我らの勝利は約束されているの
寛永14年10月突如としてこの島原に起きた百姓一揆はたちまち変幻不屈のキリシタン軍となって腹の城に立てこもったそれを指揮していたのは16歳の若者天草四郎時貞そして老軍師森総意見であった10万を超える兵をもってしても落とせぬ一揆軍に豪を煮やした時の将軍家光は老中松平信綱を一揆鎮圧に送り込んだのであるよしいつでも出られるよう支度せいはっ武蔵様松平様の陣に動きが見えます我らも無駄だはっいくら伊豆殿とはいえこの結界が破れぬ限り無駄死にするだけだしかしんどちらへ分かっているはずですこのまま戦っても我らに勝ち目のないことを元より食料のない我が軍はすでに気力のみで戦っている状態もうあと幾日も持ちは済まいしかし我が方が有利な今私一人が出ることで皆が救われるのはありませんの<笑>今ここでやめてはすべてが無駄になりますではミスミス彼らを見殺しにしろというのですかはいあなたは守守に守られている限り彼らはここまで入ってくることはできません四郎様お願いですこの子だけでも助けてください四郎様大丈夫気をしっかり持ってください
あなたたちはこの私が守って。したのかね。森様、今くせ者が。おお。大きな力とはあなたでしたか。天草四郎時貞殿とお見受けいたす宝義隠密柳生十兵衛あなたのお命頂戴いたす<音声>ここまで幕府の軍勢が攻め入るのも間もなくのようですね十兵衛殿折り入ってお願いがありますこの本堂にはたくさんの子供たちそして老若男女が避難しています私の首と引き換えにせめて彼らの命だけでも救ってくださいませんか若いながら大将としてのそのお覚悟。十兵衛感服いたしましたしかとそのお役目お引き受けいたしましたぞよかった待ちなされ四郎殿んその男を信じてはなりませんこれをご覧くださいその男柳生十兵衛は目的のためなら女子供も平気で切り捨てる元気でござる。そういけなぜ素人だ
この城は落ちます。引き上げましょう。死ろうどもこの世に神などはいない所詮弱者の作り出した巨像我が主君小西行長も神を信じて戦い結局は徳川の悪逆非道な仕打ちによって一族老党ことごとく殺されましたしかしそれでも私は補助をもしそれをお望みなら我が娘お蝶を抱き生まれ変わるのです我が秘術赤い天章によって
シロ私のシロ再びよみがえるサタンとなってドフガーとこの世に地獄の鉄槌を振り下ろすのだ。幕府軍総勢12万4千人死者 1,100 人負傷者1万 2,000 人対する一揆軍3万 7,000 人はわずか4名の降伏者を出したのみで文字通り全滅した俗称天草四郎は負傷して室内に横たわっていたところに細川勢の陣の助左衛門に撃たれたただ常に四郎のそばで影のように突き従っていた軍師森総意見のその後は確認されていない。Years setting up a kind of biological preserve. And there's no doubt our attractions will drive kids out of their minds. What kind of park is this? 
we've made living biological attractions so astounding that they'll capture the imagination of the entire planet. Two species have just been suddenly thrown back into the mix together. Can we possibly have the slightest idea of what to expect? <laughs> yeah, that's nice. Gotta go. He doesn't want to be fat. He wants to hunt. Security systems are shutting down. The door locks! Ellie, boot up the door locks! The only thing that matters now are the people we love. <gasps> John, they're out there where people are dying. Go ahead and scream your head off! We're miles from where anyone can hear you! <laughs> it was just a delay. That's all it is. All major theme parks have delays. Oh, yeah. But John, if the Pirates of the Caribbean breaks down, the pirates don't eat the tourists. <laughs> Clever girl. Okay, this right here is my little spider. 
Ready, ready, ready. Because I guess. Ah! Ow, ow, ow! <laughs> okay. <laughs> be with Wales. Be with thinking. Mr. Knucklehead, hold out a ring for you. I'm sorry, there doesn't seem to be any answer. Well, I know you are, but what am I? Whoa! Good morning, Pee-wee. Hey, good morning, Clocky. Hey, Clocky, were there any messages today? Yes, the post office called. Your sea monkeys died. <laughs> Good morning, Pee Wee. Hey, good Here's morning, Mr. Mike. Thanks. Are you all set? Yep. Post office always opens on time, Pee Wee. <laughs> hey, what do you know? It's time for my first break. <laughs> I'll see you later, little buddy. Ooh, sea monkeys. See you later, little buddy. Bye. Hey, good morning, Jumby. Good morning, Pee Wee. Do you have this morning's newspaper? Yeah, it just arrived. <laughs> Just a couple of quick impressions, Pee Wee. Linda Blair. <laughs> Peggy Fleming. <laughs> Rula Lenska. Friends are here from Europe. John B. Say, ah. Yo ho, Pee Wee! Mr. Knucklehead, where are you? Over here! Yeah. to sell hot dogs? No. <laughs> well, well, I'm starting out fun now, so I guess you better scrub. Can I take this comic? What do you give me for it? My sandwich. Ham, I suppose. Yeah, that's my whole life. <laughs> my sister. Shoe mirrors. Yeah! <laughs> With you. Oh, hello, Susan. Won't you come in? <laughs> I'm not wearing underpants. Trouble. I gotta go, Pee Wee. That's my dad. Okay, I'll see you later, okay, honey. Bye. Bye, Susan. Bye. Hey. Hey, look, a big piece of foil. Am I lucky or what? Hey, let's see how big our foil bottle is today, kids. Just flew from the ship, and boy, are my wings tired. <laughs> Gosh, it must be cool to fly. You mean you can't fly, Pee Wee? No, I can't fly. I'm a human being. I can't fly. Oh, bummer. Is this right, Terry? Look. 
<laughs> oh, Pee Wee, stop it. You're killing me. I'm dying. <laughs> oh, very good, Pee Wee. You know, it's too bad you can't fly. It's probably one of the neatest things in the world, next to shaving. Nah, I can't shave either. But I'd much rather be able to fly. If I could fly, I'd be the luckiest boy in the world! Yeah, it's heavy, all right, Pee Wee. Yeah, Pee Wee. Psst. They say that Captain Carl is a bad mother. Shut your mouth. Well, I'm only talking about Carl. I can dig it. Down what are you doing here? You're supposed to be watching the ship, you crazy flying lizard. Get out of here. Oh. <laughs> Captain Carl, did you remember to wash your hands? No. <laughs> Just fine, you Pee Wee. Captain Carl always remembers to wash his hands. Oh, a, a sailor, sailor travels to many lands. Any place he pleases. And he always remembers to wash his hands so he don't get no diseases. Okay, we get my medicine out of my sea bag. I'm getting it, I'm getting it, I'm getting it. I'm getting it, I'm getting it. Thanks, Pee Wee. Hey, a big shell. That's right, Pee Wee. From Treasure Island. Wow. Hold it up to your ear. No, your ear, not your ear. <laughs> Crazy kid. Cut the call. Uh, I can hear something in here. That's the sea, be the sea. <laughs> when a seafaring man is taken from the sea, he always yearns to return. That's why old King Neptune put the sound of the sea in every shell. So the sailor stuck on land may never be lonesome for the briny blue. That one's for you, boy. The shell? That's your shell. God. <laughs> From yes. Treasure Island. That's <laughs> a lot. <laughs> Gonna smoke, eh? Yeah, what of it? Can I light it for you? No. Why? Because. Because why? Because I said so. Why'd you say so? Because. Because why? Just because, no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right, you pesky little barnacle. <laughs> Give me that. There's a lumber shortage, you know. Time for your drawing lesson right now. Come on over here. Now, Pee Wee, there's two things missing from this drawing. <laughs> two things a sailor always looks for on a mermaid. I know. Are they round? Sometimes. I know. I know. Earrings. <laughs> no, Pee Wee. A belly button and a watch. <laughs> I'll work on this later, back at the ship. Get the girl, your shark's dude. No! No! Put that behind the back, Pee Wee. You know I've got a condition. What condition? Don't do that under no conditions. It was 1956, Pee Wee. I just won, won the, the World, World Series, Series pitching, pitching for the New, New York, York Yankees. Yankees. Me and Casey Stengel decided to take a vacation. So we borrowed Thor Heyerdahl's raft, the Con Tiki. Headed out of New York Harbor bound for the Caribbean. As we sailed up the southern coast of Florida, we came into a mysterious area where lots of folks had disappeared into thin air. Ships, planes, wallets, sunglasses, gone forever. They call this strange stretch of water Mephisto's Trapezoid. Well, as we sailed into the trip. <laughs> That's the last door I ever tell you, Pee Wee Hammond. I never should have come on land. I'm sorry. Oh, don't apologize. Don't apologize. I'm sorry. 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 I'
That's Missy Vaughn's music. The most beautiful woman in the world. Uh, I gotta go, P. Yeah, but don't you want to just wait around? I got an important fishing engagement, Pee Wee. Yeah, but you can just say hi to Mr. Vaughn. Got a date girl. with the mackerel, Pee Wee. Yeah, right really now, wish I could stick around. You know, I saw the time behind. Gotta go. Gotta go. Go out of my way! Gosh, give me a break. I thought Captain Carl liked Mrs. Va the most beautiful woman in puppet land. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Pee-wee. What? I said thank you, <laughs> Pee-wee. What? <laughs> oh! Hey, that's Herman Hattie. Get down, Pee-wee! Something's been following me all the way down the mountain top. It's on your butt, it's on your butt. <laughs> Well, hi, Missy. How are you today? <laughs> I'm fine. What brings you down from the mountain? <laughs> oh, I had to come and get my supplies. Oh, and I made up something special for you. Oh. It's your favorite. Smoky Mountain Valley Ballet Perfume Mario. Oh, thank you. <laughs> what? I said thank you. What? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh Pee-wee, I got my supplies in here, and I got to get me down at the garage and check with Raul and Julio about the cam heads on my Jeep. So I got my new tar iron and my happy days in my skull. So you guard this with your life, all okay, right? OK, OK. I'll be back before sundown. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye, bye What a dear little creature she is. <laughs> Yeah, you really smell good, Miss Yvonne. Oh, you noticed. <laughs> now I have my favorite perfume and my favorite lip and cheek stain, wild raspberry. Oh, and you have something new, too, a new shell. Oh, yeah, Captain Carl gave it to me. Oh, Captain Carl. <laughs> Was the captain here today? <laughs> yeah, but he had to go. He had a date. A date? I mean... <laughs> a date? Pee-wee, are you sure? No, it wasn't a date. He had an engagement. She pretty? <laughs> engagement, he's probably bare fishing, that's all. <laughs> Is that all? Thank you, lucky star. Pee-wee, can you keep a secret? Can I? I love secrets. <laughs> I have a secret wish. Well, what is it? The Captain Carl would like me. But he does like you. No. I mean, really like me. <laughs> yes. Maybe if we both wish very, very hard, my secret wish will come true. OK, what do we do? Hold your hands like this. Close your eyes very, very tight. I wish, I wish, 
on my secret stars, <laughs> on special planets, Venus, Mars. The Captain Caro would like me so, and think I'm beautiful from head to toe. <gasps> Bonjour, mes amis. Now you remember it's a secret, okay? Okay. Crush your heart. Okay, okay. Bonjour, Monsieur Le Croc. Bonjour, my friends. I have a wonderful new business venture to share with you. I have started a computer dating service, the Gator Mater. Oh! <laughs> Just answer two simple questions. Here is your pencil and questionnaire. Oh, this ought to be fun. <laughs> Merci. <laughs> Question number one. What is your favorite man's cologne? Old Spice. <laughs> Excuse me, Miss Yvonne. First, I say the whole question, if you don't oh, mind. Oh, I don't pardon. make the whole syllabus. Pardon. Time. Very good. One pardon me. Time. Yes, thank you. What is your favorite man's cologne? Brut, Paco Rabanne, or Old Spice? Old Spice. Question number two. What is your favorite man's name? Wally, Beaver, or Captain Carl? Oh, that's an easy one. Captain Carl. The test is finished, past the completed form to the person on your right to replace the test in the computer, which will select the Gator Mater date of your queen. There you are, Monsieur LeCroc. Merci, Pee Wee. <laughs> your Gator Mater dream date is. Well, what do you know? It's my partner, Mailman Mike! <laughs> Cheer you up, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm the old pit cushion man, terror of balloony land. Folks all hate me, how they hate me, tickles me the way they rate me. Always have a pin at hand. That's the reason I am panned. How I stop them when I pop them. <laughs> Fun with me and my hypnosis doll, Dr. Mondo. Hey, Dr. Mondo, why don't you say hello to everybody? Hello, everybody. <laughs> okay, right now, me and Dr. Mondo are going to come down to the audience and select some lucky member of the audience to hypnotize. Oh, hello, would we'll you stand up for just a moment? Okay, what is your name? Joan. Joan, well, since you're standing up right now, I'm just going to pull you right up here on the stage, okay? Okay. Come right up here. Okay. Okay. Okay, everybody's clapping because they're glad it's not them up here, okay? 
Okay, what is your name again? Joan. Joan, okay. Okay, this is Dr. Mondo. Have you ever been hypnotized before? Uh, one time. You have. <laughs> what were you hypnotized for? To stop smoking. Oh, did it work? No. <laughs> Where are you from, Joan? Uh, I was born in Cleveland, and then I grew up in Wisconsin. <laughs> Okay, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Ugh, your abs are all sweaty, ugh. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm just giving you a hard time. I'm sorry, okay? Okay, you've been hypnotized before. I don't generally work with someone who's been hypnotized, so you know a little bit about it already. So just relax as much as you possibly can, okay? And just look deeply into Dr. Mondo's eyes, okay? <laughs> Okay, Joan, we are gonna do this till you participate, so you might as well just do it right now, okay? Let me just get, get it over, okay? Okay, ready? Okay, just relax, okay? Completely relax, okay? Joan! Joan, listen to me, Joan! You are getting drowsy, Joan. Your eyelids are getting very, very heavy, Joan. You are beginning to feel yourself slipping into the hypnotic state. <laughs> Just listen to my voice, Joan. Ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Your eyelids are very heavy, Joan. You are hypnotized. Do you feel hypnotized, Joan? Yes. You do? I mean, you do? Yes. All right, hold the line, Joan. I'm going to play a sound right now, Joan, which you will not hear if you are truly hypnotized. Do you understand? Yes. Ah! <laughs> Did you hear that? What? <laughs> Joan, it's very hot up here on the stage. Getting very, 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 very hot, Joan. Very hot. Joan, I feel you would be much, much, much more comfortable without those garments. Much cooler, much more comfortable. Joan, as a final test, I'm going to test out the hypnotic hammer. You will not feel this, Joan. Did you feel that? No. How about that? No, no, no. <laughs> All right, Joan. I'm convinced you are hypnotized. I'm going to count to three, and I'm going to bring you out of the hypnotic trance. Before I do, I want you to understand one thing, Joan. When I count to three, and you leave the hypnotic state, you will not realize that you do not have your dress on. <laughs> do you understand? Yes. One, two, Three! Well, how do you feel? Fine. Great, Joel. Thank you so much for helping me out up here tonight. Joel, for helping me out tonight, we have the Pee Wee Herman t-shirt for you right here, okay? <laughs> shut up, shut up! Okay. Okay, go on later. Okay, pay the picture. Okay, thank you so much. Thank, thank you very, very much. It was really, really wonderful, okay? Okay. Okay, wear that shirt of good health, okay? Okay. Okay, thanks a lot, Joel. Thank you. Thank you very much. Ah! Some sort of weird magnetic ray. <laughs> Johnny, must want something. Pee Wee, I told you never to tamper with the forces of nature. I was just doing huh, what? I'm getting a signal from the spirit world. Help me get into a trance quickly in Jambies. Mecca lecca high, mecca chani ho. Mecca lecca high, mecca 
Chuny Ho. Mecca Lecca High, Mecca Hiney Ho. Mecca Lecca High, Mecca Hiney Ho. A mole Lecca Hey, Mecca Chuny, no ni na. Mole Lecca Hey, Mole Flay, la 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 la. All right, Terry, who do you want to contact in the spirit world? John B., today I want to contact the first president of the United States, Mr. George Washington. George Washington. <laughs> George? Pee Wee? <laughs> Did you chop down a cherry tree or what? Yes! It is George Washington! Back into your trance! <laughs> no, I want to contact Jimmy Durante. Jimmy Durante? Jimmy Durante! Jimmy Durante! <laughs> Wait a minute. Jimmy Durante wasn't the one who did ooh ooh. Uh, he wasn't? Oh, well, then the uh, trance is fading, Pee Wee. No! No! Oh, I'm sorry, Pee Wee. That was my last trance. Last trance, Pee Wee. That was my last trance. if John B. gives you something very special today? Like what? Well, how about if John B. grants you a wish? A wish? Yeah, a wish. Now think very carefully, Pee Wee, because you only have one wish. I already know what it's gonna be. My wish is I want to be able to fly. My secret wish is that Captain Carl would like me. Well, that is my wish. I want to be able right. to fly. Flying. I mean... Really like me. Ever since I was a little kid, I've wanted to be able to fly. It's one measly Listen wish. To the fly. sound of it, P. Mrs. Captain Carl. Could I make this wish for someone else, Johnny, if I wanted to? Sure, Pee Wee. I was just okay. checking. Up in the air, it's a bird, yeah, it's a plane, go, it's go, me, go, it's go. And someday we'll have a baby. And we'll call him. Pee-wee. <laughs> okay! Johnny, I'm not gonna be selfish today. I'm gonna make this wish for somebody else. My wish is going to be for Captain Carl to like Miss Yvonne. Okay, Pee-wee, it's your wish. Rub the top of Johnny's box and change the color of your socks. Wish for rain and wish for snow, but wish that Jumpy makes it so. Wish until your wish is gone. Captain Carl digs Miss Yvonne. The wish is granted. Long live Jumpy. Oh, just a minute, Pee Wee. <laughs> Jumpy! I told you never to call me in the box. We can't talk now. No. It sounds personal, boys and girls. Uh, I, uh, just a minute. <laughs> Mail's here, Pee Wee. Gosh, look at all the mail. Yeah, we got a ton of it. Wow. Hey, Crew Cut, you want to move Jombie's box for me? Sure I will. Oh, go ahead then. Thanks, Pee Wee. Oh, take it easy, Pee Wee. <laughs> Oh, yeah, Pee-wee, you got some fan mail. Fan mail from some flounder? <laughs> <laughs> hey, no man, Mike, this letter's already been opened. Today. Oh. Sometimes I forget, Pee-wee. <laughs> Say, no man, Mike. Yeah? How come people have to come in here to get their mail? Well, you know, Pee-wee, I don't have enough time to read all the mail, much less deliver it. I didn't think of that. Uh-huh. Hey, what do you know? Perishable. Now, that means food, Pee-wee. What are you doing? Wait, that's not addressed. What are you doing? Ah, uh -huh, cookies. Wait, wait, we can't open. We can't eat those cookies because that box wasn't addressed to us. We can't eat those cookies. Well, sure we can, Pee-wee. Look. Mmm. Delicious. 
Yeah, they look delicious. Oh, these are great cookies, Pee Wee. Yeah, they really look great, but... Mm. You know, I feel really great. I'm not eating one of those cookies because... Because the cookies were not addressed to me or you, and it's not right to eat other people's cookies, and that's why I feel really... You don't think you're taking it too seriously, Pee Wee? Mm. <laughs> Dig in. <laughs> oh, look at those zombies' hands finally got here. Hands? Did somebody say hands? Sure did, Zombie. Well, hand them over. <laughs> oh, gee, Pee Wee, I'm a little late for my break. Would you mind delivering these for me? Would I? Would I? Hand hand oh, <laughs> hey, Jambi, enjoy those hands, buddy. Hey, thanks, Blondie. Bye, Mailman Mike. Bye -bye. Hey, look, Jambi, here's your hands. I better open them for, for you because you don't have them yet. Right. <laughs> hey, cool. Caucasian. I sure hope they work, Pee Wee. The picture in the catalog was so small. Well, check them out, Jambi. Yeah, I will. I've had something I've wanted to do for a long time. Honey Bunch, I don't think we're in our backyard anymore. That's because it's time right now for our musical salute. Hey, boss. Hey, we. <laughs> I'm going to play this on flamingo guitar. <laughs> hey, let's take this off first. <laughs> oh. Hey, Clocky. Who's, who's our, our musical, musical salute, salute to today? today? He started as a DJ at Soul Station KDIA in Oakland, California. Produced The Swim by Bobby Freeman. He was the first musician to ever merge rock with rhythm and blues. And he is best known for popularizing the R sound. We know it's Sly Stone. Hit it!
musical salute to next week. Clocky? Next week's musical salute to is... Da -da 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 -da, Slam Whitman! <laughs> aren't popular in Europe. <laughs> well, practice, kid. Yeah. Oh, Rosemary. See you later. See you later, Pee-wee. Hey. Rosemary. Hey, watch where you're going. Sod pounders. <laughs> Musical maniacs. <laughs> I never should have come on land. That was my first mistake. I got the goal. Hello, Pee-wee. You mm, fishing, huh? Yeah, I'm fishing. I've been wishing. Well, you can't live on wishes, Pee-wee. You can live on fishes. Fish your brain food. Maybe that's why I got so much on my mind. I got something on my mind, too. Oh, yeah? Yeah, don't you want to know what it is? Yeah, sure, what is it? Well, I had this wish, only I gave it away. To a woman. A woman? Oh, Pee-wee, did you ever think of all the things that are wrong with women? Like what? Well, they live on land, for one thing. <laughs> And they're all soft. Like jellyfish? Yeah, just like a jellyfish. <laughs> and what do women like more than anything else in the world? Charge accounts. <laughs> oh, I was thinking of flowers. They even smell like flowers. Hey, flowers go on land, too. That's right. I never thought of that one. Oh, women. No, women. 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 Dames. Dames. Women. <laughs> women. Women, women. <laughs> they wear a lot of makeup, too. Ho, oh, ho, oh, not too much. Ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho. Women. Get the call. Have you ever seen Miss Yvonne put on her eyebrows? What do you mean? Well, Miss Yvonne has this headband thing, and she puts it on over her head, and it has these eyebrow holes cut on in it, and she takes this pen, and she goes, mum, 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 when she takes it off, bing, eyebrows. That's a lie, Pee-wee. No, it's not. Her forehead's completely bald. I've seen it up from this close. She doesn't have a single hair growing on it. It's all completely drawn out with a crown. It's all fake. Her eyebrows are completely drawn out. When were you up close to Miss Yvonne? When were you up close to Miss Yvonne? When? When? I'm sorry, Pee-wee. I've never raised my hand to you before. What's happening to me? Miss Yvonne! Captain Carl! Miss Yvonne! Yes, Captain Carl! Miss Yvonne, may I? Uh, yes, Captain Carl! May I? May I like you? <laughs> yes, Captain Carl! I mean, really like you? Yes, Captain Carl. Whoa! Whoa! I'm Miss Yvonne! I got the girl! Hi, Miss Yvonne! Remember me, Pee Wee Herman, owner of the Playhouse? <laughs> Lovely weather we're having. I enjoy these informal chats. <laughs> You're on fire, Miss Yvonne. <laughs> okay, look, if you're not gonna pay any attention to me, then you're both considered trespassing, and you can both just get out. Thank you, Pee-wee. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, thanks, Pee-wee. Oh, thanks, wait.
I said hello, Pee Wee. Hello. Hey, what's wrong? Nothing. Come on, Pee Wee, you can trust me. Tell me, what's wrong? It's been a crummy day, okay? Let's just leave it at that. Turn that frown upside down, Pee Wee. Got some special mail here for you. What's so special about it? Well, what's so special is that it's mail from foreign lands. And you know what that means, don't you? Yes, I do! That means it's time for... Pen Pals from Around the World! Here's a picture postcard from Finland. From Finland? Dear Pee-wee, Brr, it's sure cold here. Today, an avalanche covered our village. Here's a letter from Israel. From Israel. Shalom, Pee-wee. <laughs> My name is Shalomo. I'm nine, and I have been in the army two years already. <laughs> No, man, Mike, if you would like to know more about my country, just read the Bible. <laughs> Say, why don't you read this one, Pee-wee? Dear Pee-wee, remember me, Lou from prison. <laughs> Your letters have really helped me pass the time. In fact, some of the guys joke with me that you are my girlfriend. <laughs> Shut up! I'll just hold on to this one, Pee-wee. Say, no man, Mike, do you know what a Mr. Bungle is? Why, no. A Mr. Bungle is somebody who has terrible manners. You know what time it is right now? Oh, yeah, it's time for my next break. Mm -mm. It's time for the film about having bad manners. Miss Brown said it was time for the children who ate in the cafeteria to go to lunch. She hoped there weren't any Mr. Bungles in this room. <laughs> Phil almost walked past the boys' room, but he stopped and thought. Were his hands clean? No, they were a little dirty. Phil remembered that Mr. Bungle didn't wash his hands. Mr. Bungle's hair was messy, too. Phil didn't want to be like Mr. Bungle. Inside the boys' room, Phil was surprised to see some of his friends washing their hands, too. Phil washed his hands well, with lots of soap. Then he rinsed the soap off. Phil dried his hands well, too. When he was finished, he threw the paper towel in the basket where it belonged. And then he made sure that his hair looked neat. <laughs> now, Phil and his friends were ready for lunch. There was a line of children waiting to get into the lunchroom when Phil got there. He saw some boys he knew at the front of the line. They waved for him to go up to the front with them. But Phil didn't want to break into line as Mr. Bungle did. So Phil went to the end. That was the fair thing to do. He put his knife, fork, and spoon neatly on the tray. And then he slid his tray along. He always enjoyed looking at the good food in the cafeteria. It tasted good and was good for him, too. Instead of having a sandwich today, Phil decided to take the hot lunch. Phil took some bread and butter, too. And he knew what else he wanted, milk. But Alice took the last carton on the tray. Maybe there was more milk. So he said, may I please have some milk? Phil remembered to say, may I, and please. That was very polite. Yes, there was more milk. Phil remembered to say, thank you, when he took the carton of milk. Phil had good manners. He didn't want to be like Mr. Bungle in the lunchroom. Phil didn't want to forget his dessert. The cake looked delicious. At the end of the line, the lunchroom supervisor said she had noticed how polite Phil was, and she smiled at him. She wouldn't smile at a Mr. Bungle. <laughs> Phil went to the table where his friends were. He put his tray down carefully, 
pulled out his chair quietly and sat down. He knew his friends wouldn't like a noisy Mr. Bungle at their table. <laughs> there was someone Phil liked, Freddy. Phil noticed how straight and tall Freddy usually sat. Freddy kept his feet on the floor, too. <laughs> Phil would rather be like Freddy than like Mr. Bungle. Another polite person everyone liked was Alice. For example, when Alice sneezed, she covered her mouth and nose. This protected her friends at the table from any germs. While Phil and his friends ate, a boy ran past their table. You shouldn't run in the lunchroom. Only Mr. Bungle would do that. <laughs> Phil and his friends wouldn't like to have a Mr. Bungle at their table. Then lunchtime wouldn't be as much fun as it is. A big enough piece of cake or what? <laughs> Thanks for the soda, Carl. <sighs> what a guy. Nothing's a matter, Miss Yvonne. Aww. You're my best friend. I know when something's wrong. Sit down a minute. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was this boy, and he knew this beautiful woman. It's not you, though. <laughs> well, the beautiful woman tells this boy that she has this secret wish, and the wish is that she wants this guy to really like her, so... Anyway, the, the boy makes this huge personal sacrifice and he gives his wish away. To the beautiful woman? That's right. It's not like the boy expects like he's gonna get anything in return or anything, but, but then he doesn't get anything in return. <laughs> nothing happens. <laughs> nothing happens at all. Zip, zero, zilch, zolly, nothing. No advancement, no nothing. It just doesn't seem fair. It's, it's not like the boy doesn't have a wish of his own, no. No, I'm never gonna get to... I mean, no, the boy's never gonna get to fly. I... I gotta go be by myself, Miss Yvonne. No, Pee-wee, no. stay here with me! No. <laughs> oh. Poor Pee-wee. Just call me Miss Bungle. <laughs> told me down to grow. Well, Miss Wybon, what's the matter? <laughs> Where's Pee-wee? Pee-wee left. He's very upset. Could you round everybody up for me? Why, sure, Miss Y. Now, you cover your ear, because I'm going to give a critter call, all right? Meow, come quick. Meow, come quick. Meow, come quick. Come quick, come quick. Thank you. Thank you all for coming so quickly. <laughs> Pee-wee just told me a little story. He doesn't realize I figured it out. <laughs> but I did. Pee-wee was granted a wish, but he sacrificed that wish for my happiness. And, and, and now... And now he's sad! Yes. He's sad! He's sad! Well, we didn't even know the little critter wanted a wish. No. Wait a minute. If it's a problem with wishes, let's ask Jombie. Yeah! yeah. Oh, my yeah. God! Jombie's Jambi. the wish Jambi. guy! Hey, Jambi. Jombie? Jombie, did you grant Pee-wee a wish for me? Yes, Miss Yvonne. See, Mike was Just right. Oh, Jombie. Carl, man. honey. Carl, there's something I have to tell you. Jombie used his magical powers to get you to like me. <laughs> well, that was stupid! Hey. Why? Well, because I already liked you, Miss Yvonne. Oh, I really oh, liked you. Oh, oh, right, oh, right, oh, right. Wait a minute. <laughs> that means that... Pee-wee has a wish coming. Right! Yeah. Hey, Jumby, are you gonna grant him that wish? Please, pretty please, with sugar on the top. Hmm? All right, I'll grant Pee-wee his wish. Wish. 
We're gonna get Pee Wee off the ground. Now, all of you, repeat after me: Mecca, lecca, hi, mecca, hiney, ho. Mecca, lecca, hi, mecca, hiney, ho. It's working. It's working. Everyone, repeat: Mecca, lecca, hi, mecca, hiney, ho. Mecca, lecca, hi, mecca, hiney, ho. Now, all the boys and girls out in the audience, repeat: Mecca, lecca, hi, mecca, hiney, ho. Mecca, lecca, hi, mecca, hiney, ho. Come on. Mecca, lecca, hi, mecca, hiney, ho. Mecca, lecca, hi, mecca, hiney, ho. Now just the single parents in the audience. Mecca, lecca, hi, mecca, hiney, ho. Mecca, lecca, hi, mecca, hiney, ho. I'm flying. <laughs>
man be talking about my man be Be Too long. Yeah, Everybody listen to y'all know. Snoop Dogg wanted to be on Pee Wee's Playhouse when he was a kid. We were just watching this. <laughs> Thank you. Me we were just show, watching this. At my stage show at Club right. Nokia, every single night okay. we'd be putting them, I'd be oh, putting okay. my makeup on and we'd be looking at your set list up on the wall. Oh, wow. you got right? right? Yes. yes. Okay. That was bizarre. Yeah. So yeah. Let's do Paul's Ready? It's 3D, so you can move around. You can move. Yeah, Ready? One, two, three. I got it. <laughs> Let me see what 3D look like. Oh hey, my God, hey, you're going to freak out. Send it to me right oh, now. Wow. Wow. Release you video? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Have you seen that? Wait, no, check no. this out. Did you do it with your camera? Did you do it with your camera? I can't. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, oh. Crazy. oh, oh. So, oh. by the way, you're looking at 3D with no glasses. Wow. Whoa. Wow. That's crazy. Next level right there, dude. Check one ball. Yeah. We're going back to the hip hop shop. Church. Preach. Tabernacle. Ladies and gentlemen. MTV is proud to introduce someone who has been a friend for a long time. jokes lately? <laughs> what was that one? Oh, so funny I forgot to laugh. Um, thank you very much. That really means a lot to me. I have, thank you. Thanks. Thank you. All right, okay, shut up. Now, I just have one thing that I'd like to say to all of you out here and to everyone in the nation, and that is, welcome to the 1991 MTV Video Music Awards! 